What's going on, guys? Support for today's episode comes from Manscaped. Father's Day is just around the corner, and you probably need a gift for your hairy dad. Make your dad proud this year and get him and yourself the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 and Ultra Smooth Package. You know what they say, like father, like son. The brand new Lawnmower 4.0 and Ultra Smooth Package is perfect for you and the dad in your life to complete your grooming game. Get 20% off and free shipping with code RBP. That's code RBP at manscaped.com. What's up? What's up? That's a clean shave you got going there. It's nice, right? You're like a baby face now. I got to make sure I look professional for my guest proposal. <laughs> yeah. Is your first one? Yeah. Your first one ever. You didn't do any before. Never. Where is this one at? Uh, Junior Nationals. There's going to be a lot of people waiting for you, man. It's going to be crazy. I'm excited. I've never done this before. so. Did you put together your own music or no? No. <laughs> did you well, that's it? supposed to. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but did you oh. pick a did you pick a song? Did you do anything? No. Really? No. Dude, what the fuck? So you're gonna show up and be like, they're gonna be like, what do you want to post to? So you gotta decide what you want to post to at least. My boy, wing it. Just wing it. They're gonna put on anything you you don't have a favorite song. Go to Halo. Do it to Halo. I will post to Halo. No, you won't. <laughs> just for that i'm gonna pose the halo now <laughs> yeah. if you go there and ask for halo i'll fucking die laughing it'd be hilarious um that's good <laughs> man halo. yeah i'm excited yeah it's good that like, you know uh you know the pandemic has slowed down now and you can start doing this kind of stuff are you gonna start doing a lot more of these um i'm, I'm just gonna do one more so i have this one this this weekend and then next weekend i'm, I'm going to um aries nutrition yeah yeah, back back in my which is where I'm from, New Jersey. So I'm gonna go there for his uh, opening event thing, or his party, whatever he, he's doing. He's having a bunch yeah, of pros. Yeah. I'm gonna go to that, and then after that, that, that that'll be it. So that'll be it. But you don't have any more like guest posings. We're actually posing. No, no, no. Are you? Um, you should probably line up a bunch for after the Olympia. That's 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 my goal. That's what I have in my uh, plan to do. So. Ian, do you kind of actively search that stuff out? What's going on, man? How are you? Good, you? Good. Your flight, obviously, you had a good good flight home from BC. Uh, yeah, I'm a little behind, like, because we lost that three hours, right? Yeah. So, like, I got up at, like, 30 minutes ago. Because <laughs> it's, like, it's actually 7 a.m. Yeah. It's actually yeah. 7 a.m. for me, right? Instead of yeah. 10, so. Yeah, yeah. But, no, I feel good. I mean, the flights, it was a little slow getting home, but, I mean, it was good. I mean, traveling yeah. with dogs, when you're trying to travel with dogs, always kind of a pain in the ass, but they were pretty good, so it's not bad. Are you uh, are you happy to be back? Yeah, I mean, I, I was kind of like sad to leave at the time, but then once you're home and like see your house and it's all nice and clean, you have all your stuff and like you have yeah. your car and like you know you're back in your habitat. It's it's nice to be yeah. here for sure. Yeah, but it's good that you guys are out there had such a you had such a like a welcome time there that you actually didn't even want to leave. Yeah, I mean, you know Ron, man. Like, I mean, yeah. the guy's the most fucking like hospitable guy ever. I mean, yeah. Is that where you trained Ian? Yeah, West Coast Iron, Ron Parlo's place, yeah. That gym looks awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, man. it does it's look like, pretty bad. The awesome. gym is is good, but like the atmosphere and Ron makes it better than it is. Yeah. yeah. You know, like he's the kind of gym owner that's just like walking around the gym every time you're yeah. doing a heavy set. Like, yeah. you know, we're doing a heavy set of deadlifts. He's just there, like cheering you on. You're like, this is fucking awesome. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's he's cool. There. He's that's just really the guy cool. who like makes, makes you want to be there, you know? You know, can I ask you guys? It's funny. When I talk to, when I talk to Ron, he always makes me feel stupid. He's got <laughs> like, no, no, he's got like this, uh, some people, when they're interested in something, they know every single thing about it. Yeah. yeah. Ron's one of those guys. That's, that's Ron. Yeah. Like when he come, when it comes to work, because I've been buying workout equipment for my gym and he'll message me and be like, did you see this piece made by this company at this yeah. date? And I'm like, holy fuck. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're man. way out of my fucking depth. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, I just like doing a leg press, man. I don't know what the fuck, like who made it, what year. Yeah. Yeah. So like, and it's the same thing with music. Like I think I. Oh, I know. I was about to say that music. He's like a fucking archaeologist of music. Dude, I posted something with a tool in the background. And yeah. he's like, did you get their first album with this song? And I'm like, I have, I'm lost, dude. I have no. But that's one of the sick things about his gym too is like there's always the best like music ever like it'll yeah. go from like sick Lincoln Park to like sick yeah. old metal to like the best gangster rap ever yeah. like it's yeah. always yeah. The best music you know yeah that's pretty cool man I just I don't know how you guys are like 
I just know if I like something, I like it. I don't like research the depth of it. Like, yeah, that's me. I, I'm not going to research it. Yeah. I mean, like, like if I hear, like, if I hear like a song I like, I might like check out the artist, see if I like other songs by that artist, but like, yeah. I don't go in like the depth or anything. Yeah. You don't like check their history and like, no, I don't do yeah. all that. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Good. I thought I was the only one. Um, Ian, are you going to try and line up any? We were talking about guest posing before you came yeah, on. I, I've never actually actively sought out a guest posing before. No, I mean, like, yeah. you know, I mean, would you do it? Not, pardon? Would you do it? I'd guest pose, obviously. I mean, He's I've done, done it, but obviously, last I've guest posed at your show twice, right? Yeah, you've done my show twice now, yeah. Um, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm more than down to do them. I mean, last year, obviously, with the COVID, there was none happening, but there was, yeah. That yeah. I would usually do like one or two a year here and there, but, um, you know, it's uh yeah. I mean, I'm always yeah. I've never sought them out though, but yeah, if they come my way, I'm I'm usually more than happy to do. Actually, it. Actually, now that we talk about it, that might be a good idea for this year, Ian. What? Well, our show. If yeah, did you move we, it? Well, we moved it to September fourth. Yeah. And I don't know for sure what's going on with like audience and no audience, so I'm not sure yet. But if we can have an audience, you won't. You'll be like four weeks out from the O. Yeah, that'd be good. Maybe you want to come down. Did I, did I tell you to? Uh... Melissa, Chris, and I or took over the uh, Ottawa shows from Chelsea, Boston, and then. Oh, that's your show now. Yeah. Well, that's if you awesome. want, if you want, I'll come guest pose for you. Yeah, you come guest pose, and I'll come. Guest pose. <laughs> we'll just do like a tit for tat here. My fucking yeah, old we're ass. Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna take the Ottawa Classic, so the natural show, which is usually like in the springtime, and then the yeah. open show, which is in November. Yeah. Yeah, good for you guys, man. It's gonna be huge. That yeah. show, always, that show always does well too. Yeah, th they both do pretty good. So, I mean, I've been chomped at the bit from Ron to get those at Ron Hatch, not Ron Partlow, just for anyone. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We've been chomped at the bit to get those for a while, but Chelsea's kind of like stepped out of the industry a bit more now, like the, the freeform fitness people. So this is a yeah. good opportunity for us to kind of... I didn't know I didn't know you wanted a show. Why, why, why the passion for promoting? I don't know. I just think it'd be a good thing to like, you know, at least try, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, kind of dip our toes yeah. in, see how it goes. I mean, we've got a good infrastructure with, with the three of us, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of you know, things that we can do here within Ottawa. So I, yeah. I think it'd be, it'd be fun to try and kind of see how it goes. And, you know, we do it for a few years. We don't like it. I mean, I'm sure plenty of other people would be happy to take it off our hands, but um, you know, we, we definitely would like to try it out for sure. Well, I'll tell you from my experience uh, really quickly, what I've gathered, we try and kind of use it as a passion project, not a money maker. So we usually yeah. sp spend a little bit more money, I think than other promoters, maybe, I don't know, but I've noticed that with two people or three people involved, it's hard to make, you know, a, a lot of money. Yeah. So it's kind of more for when me and Paul do it, it's more for fun. Like we don't walk away with a ton of cash. Like no. we might walk away with like five or 10 grand each, maybe. Um, the last couple of years, we didn't even walk away with that, but um, it's kind of almost like it just feels good to get this. Once the competitors are on stage, you're like, okay, it's worth it. Yeah. Cause then right. it's, it feels good. They're in a nice theater and they're, you know, they're having you give, fun. Yeah. You give them like nice trophies or medals or whatever. And it's uh, something you feel good about, like giving back a bit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of more that kind of thing, but I, some promoters do it for the money. They do it by themselves. Yeah. And they kind of cut as many corners as they can. They don't put on bad shows. They just kind of, they found a way to like do it but, cheap. Uh, yeah. No loophole. Yeah. And they walk away with the fucking a boatload of cash. So yeah. there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but yeah. Um, okay. Let me get guy in. Guy. Yeah. Before we, uh, guy. Yeah. What up? Mr. Sister Nina. Hey, you look like uh, you trimmed the beard a little bit. I always do. It looks like a little shorter. What happened? Yeah. You say that every time. Okay. That's the first time I've ever said that. No, it's not. Uh, you look rather handsome. <laughs> What's different? You also look more calm. What's wrong with you today? Is that a new hat guy? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's your face is a little thinner. That might be it. You know, it's great. When you come on last, everybody just gets to pick you apart for five minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's like, this is like a fucking roast. I'm never going to be late again. <laughs> what are you eating? Bread and eggs, jelly. Eggs and ketchup. Did you say bread and jelly? Eggs, ketchup. I had cream of rice and berries and I four pieces of toast with jelly. Because you're too shredded. That's why you're doing bread and jelly. What the fuck? Guy does no cardio. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many weeks now? How many weeks now? What's today's date? I don't fucking know. Uh, June 16th. Isn't your show this weekend or next weekend? Oh, 11 days. 11 days. 11 yeah. days. Ian, you're doing it, right? Me? No. I thought you were. No, I'm doing Tampa. Oh, Tampa. We're not no, allowed. Get, we're not I allowed. Get, I want to get Joe's. We're, 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 <laughs> we're not allowed <laughs> to talk about who's doing what show. We're in trouble again. Be careful. 
Go fucking fucking I, missed out, I missed out on this until I saw this all on Instagram. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? You know, I'm staying should... out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's competing anymore. We're just not going to say anything. I don't I want retired. another 15 minute video about me. <laughs> I retired. I, guy, guy, you're what? You're 11 days now, right? Yeah. Why are you so happy? I'm always happy, bro. I'm actually not happy. I was actually at a, at a rough couple days. Yesterday sucked. Is it because we, is, is we make you happy? Yeah, I like doing this. Dude, I got ready for this. This is my luck, bro. I was going into Long Island yesterday to meet up with a buddy. And I'm in 678, which is over the George Washington Bridge. And I was going onto the Cross Island. Nick will know where I'm talking about if he's ever drove to Bev's or anywhere. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when you go onto the Cross Island, it's a merge lane and it's, it goes into one lane. And then the one lane runs into the Cross Island. Yes. So, yeah. So there is fucking, you guys have like, you know, like an emergency service vehicle is it's either like a bomb squad. It almost looks like a fire truck, but it's not. Yeah. I'm in my fucking car. Fucking everybody's pulling over. These motherfuckers are trying to squeeze by everybody. Front of my car. Just kept fucking going. You're such, dude, how come everything happens every week? You have a new story about your car. So I fucking chase. So I, I fucking, say you chased them down. Didn't you? I chased them down. But ready for this? It said NYPD on the back. With the number one, I chased them down. Rolled, there was two, there was two of them. They were following each other. So I got up to the one, rolled my window down. The guy rolled his window down. I said, "That truck up there just hit me." I go, "You guys need to pull the fuck over right now." And the guy's like, "All right, calm down, calm down." So I go to, to pull over to the shoulder, dude. They kept fucking driving. I called nine one one four times. Um, got to where I was going to, called I don't know how many precincts. There was no license plate on the back. I gave him all the information that I could. And at the end, at, at the end of the day, the one officer goes, I'm going to give you, this is the internal or unfair, whatever number to call. He goes, but I, you know what they're going to tell you? You don't have any proof. He's like that. A police officer told me that I'm going to call another precinct and they're going to tell me that I have no proof. I'm going to waste my fucking time. I, uh, I don't know. How bad is it? Yeah. I, was I got that. it. But so the, I got it buffed at a place while like right up in New York when, cause I was, there was a place right there. So they buffed it out, but it definitely needs bumper work and quarter panel yeah. work because I got two chips of paint. I got a, a dent that's long like this because I guess something must have hit and dragged. That every sucks. every week, guy, every week you have a a, a car fighting story. I know, and then and then somebody's gonna come on here and be like, "I bet that story is a lie." <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, were actually fi- had to where were you fishing with your dad? I was. Yeah, I know where. Where were you? Where, where oh, were Adirondacks. You? I thought I you said, weren't you? Who does that when they're two weeks out, though? What? That's awesome to do two weeks out. I can't, well, I so, can't leave the house when I'm two weeks out. Me neither. So this, <laughs> no, seriously. I just I need to be next to my food, near the I'm gym. I'm on the couch. Yeah. Sleep, like, doing so this is, this is planned every year. We go at the same time. Yeah. So I didn't know what shows I were doing. And because all the shows got moved and canceled and bumped this and that. Like, I, I, I don't turn down shit like that with family. Like, you know, no, it, it, it's, listen, was I in the best moods at all times? No, you know, but because uh, you're up at six in the morning and I don't eat. And then we go fishing until 10, 30, 11 and then come back and then I eat and then I'm exhausted. And then we just hang out and then we go back out fishing again. How were you? you know? how, how many days were you gone? Uh, left here Thursday. I trained at thir- Thursday morning. I woke up. I trained at 6 a.m. And then uh, came back, changed, showered, drove up. It's like four or five hour. No, it's five hour drive from me. And then we're there. We uh, there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Come back Sunday. So you took three days off from the gym. No, I found a gym. You trained while you're there. Yeah. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> I believe him. I wait. I posted on my fucking story, asshole. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Did you? Yes. I gotta check now. I right, gonna hold on. Sorry. Oh, I'll go to my, I'm going to go to my fucking, uh, I'm going to go to your story right now. I, I'm not there now. I got to go to archives. You're not going to see it. Oh, you took it down. How convenient. No, no I didn't take it down. It was a story. <laughs> they go away. Do I have to fucking explain? I'm normal just fucking shit? with you, man. Just some fuck. I'm just fucking with you. Um, archives. <clears throat> is there anybody else, you know, doing the show? Uh, no, no, I don't know. No, nobody. You're going to qualify for the O here then, eh? Don't, I, I don't think like that. And just because you, I just because people haven't announced they're doing it doesn't mean it's not, people aren't going to fucking show up. Uh, Ian, Tampa's starting to look interesting, eh? 
With who? I don't know. I mean, Sergio's saying he might do Tampa or Texas or – oh, wait, we, should, we shouldn't, shouldn't talk about that. I heard, I just hear more, more and more people are doing those – where is that? Adirondacks. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Rumor has it a certain someone might be Tampa. That's okay. Good. Who's that? Starts with an R. Yeah, I heard something about Rolly. Oh, oh Rolly? Yeah. Ends with an Oli. Starts with an R and ends with an Oli. I heard Phil Heath might be too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is What's Phil that? Heath is, is Phil Heath coming back? I don't know. Apparently he said posted something saying eight weeks out. I know. Somebody's oh, no, there's no the last person that I spoke to said he was like like substantially lighter than they've ever seen him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, looked, yeah. Like 40 pounds lighter than they've ever seen him. Is he just trolling everybody, you think? No, I heard he's like like trying I, th this is all hearsay. I heard he's trying to get into acting. Huh. He's going that route. Now, That's I mean, why, would, why would Roly do Tampa and not do one of the shows over there? Like he's already in Kuwait, do Portugal or Spain or like one of those. Yeah. Because then he wants to come beat Ian. Apparently, <laughs> I'm ready for him. It's like I heard about this Ian kid fucking talking shit. <laughs> uh, I'm coming for you. Uh, so, so Akeem, Akeem's going to qualify in Puerto Rico. Yeah, right. Hunter's going to qualify. I mean, Hunter's Hunter's is still for, in for a tough show because uh, I think Charles Griffin has made a lot of improvements. So I'm excited to see what he looks like. Can't forget about Brett. Brett, oh, can we, can we, can we, oh, hold, on, hold on, back up. Can we say something? What? I'm going to say something. What? I know we do these predictions, and because of this, I'm not going to say who it was, but there was somebody that I was speaking to at a show yeah. recently in the past few weeks that we were talking about with an upcoming show, and it didn't strike me until I was driving home why that person was being very standoffish, and they normally aren't towards me. I think you talked about this. Hold on. No, but I didn't. No, no. He didn't I mention didn't. the person. He didn't mention the person. Yeah, I didn't mention Yeah. Yeah. My issue is this, is that I'm a New York Giants fan, okay? And they're my favorite football team. Seven times out of 10, I'll probably pick them to win because if they, they play other teams that I don't think they're going to fucking win against, I'm going to say, I don't think that team's going to win. They're my favorite team. I like them, but I don't think they're going to win today. The fact that I go to shows or get messages from fucking people that I consider friends or acquaintances in the bodybuilding industry that get mad that I don't place them higher at shows is the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen from Brian. Because I don't care and do not put my personal relationships into when I decide who I think is going to win. Yeah, but wait a minute. Top three shows. Nick just because agreed with you, but Nick got mad at Ian when he didn't play some curse. <laughs> I, did, I did not get mad at Ian. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't, this had nothing to do with Nick. Yeah, no, I know it didn't. Um, because it's... Wow, really? That's like, we, we have been... We, I've been doing this show for how long? Nick, you, you guys didn't, didn't even have me top five last year. So you guys said six or eight. Like... I don't ever get mad at where somebody has me placed or predicted in their head at a show. And the fact that grown men get upset that I don't place them higher or who I didn't place them here or Nick didn't have them is mind boggling. Well, one sec. Okay, one second. So I because so it's ridiculous because I have too many. If it was up to me, I would want all my friends winning every fucking show. But the problem is, is that I'm friends with a lot of people. So I can't put everybody in fucking first. So if I have to be honest and pick and choose, I'm going to. And if you don't like it and you're going to get that upset that you're going to not want to talk to me at a fucking bodybuilding show, then you are not a fucking man. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. So the analogy with the sports team, I think is perfect. Uh, like just this past weekend, uh, somebody messaged me and said, are you going to pick Adesanya or Vittori for the UFC fights? And I said, I'm going Vittori, but it's an emotional pick. So you can go, if you pick your friend and you say it's an emotional pick, it's an emotional pick, but sometimes you're not going to pick your friend. If you're picking like, honestly, who's going to win, right? Just like or, you said. Or if like, I'm picking and I have to keep my eyebrows or lose my eyebrows, I'm going to pick it fucking honest, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> no, but like, just to say like the New York Giants analogy is perfect. It's your favorite team, but you know, they're not going to win every fucking game. No. So you're going to pick the truth, right? So I think it's a good, it's a good point to make. Anyway, I don't want to go through making predictions. I just... 
really quickly was thinking about the Olympia and who's qualifying. Do we still have Hunter? Is Hunter now going to the favorite for Chicago? Yes, I would think uh, absolutely. Right, and then uh, Hunter and Akeem. What's Akeem's, Akeem's, oh, Akeem's doing Puerto Rico. Akeem's doing Puerto Rico. Yeah. So Akeem's going to qualify in Puerto Rico most likely. Hunter may qualify in Chicago. Then we have Ian in Tampa, unless Roly shows up. And uh, what the fuck that? <laughs> just, just fucking with you. <laughs> He ain't fucking um, with you. How, how dare you not? Look how fucking mad he gets. <laughs> Ian's face is turning red as fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mad now. Ian, can you beat Roly? Yes. I think it's interesting. It's an interesting matchup only because I love the mentality, man. That's the mentality you need the, to have. People get mad at people for that. But shit. I think it's. I think yeah, nobody should get mad. I think the, the I think the confidence thing is fucking awesome. Um. I think there is a chance. I, I think Roly is bigger in some spots, but he doesn't get nearly the conditioning you get. I agree. Yeah. So that I would be- love to actually see what would happen if Roly actually came in inside out peeled. I don't think we've ever it seen. Was, Roley. I don't think we've ever seen Roly inside out peeled. If he comes inside out peeled, I probably won't beat him. But if he comes yeah. in at you know typical Roly outside, when he looks you know fifth, sixth, seventh Olympia placing, yeah. I think yeah. I can definitely beat him. I think if Roly came inside out peeled, he'd be hard to beat. Period. Agreed. Anywhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, role is he's not uh, yeah that's not his thing yeah and we don't know if he's doing tampa so we'll go by by the the names we do know which so ian's probably the favorite in tampa then texas uh i think sergio alluded to to doing texas but i don't know who else is doing and you guys don't know who close a good one yeah that's a good i was just gonna say that's a good matchup because those two guys have similar structures and i'm sure whoever doesn't win chicago and tampa will end up doing texas as well I'm doing Texas as well. You're doing it? Texas may end up being the biggest show of the year. Even if you win, Ian? Yeah. Am I getting better with your name? Yes. Well, and, you do, and you're going to do the Arnold. Only a compliment once in a while. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, I, I signed up for the Arnold, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess that happens, yeah. What did you say? He, he wants some reassurance. <laughs> he said, throw me a compliment once in a while. No, won't hurt. Thank you. I, I, appreciate, I appreciate your effort. It's well, it's noted. He wants a compliment for saying your name right. <laughs> It was um, a fucking mental of the toughness of kept going. So the uh, <clears throat> the Arnold list came out, mm-hmm. and no two twelve, no two twelve again. No. no, I don't understand this. No two twelve, no figure, and no uh, women's physique. I can't. No, was there? What was there? No, no women's physique. There's just like bikini, men's physique, fitness, and bodybuilding, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just looking. I got, I got classic physique, uh, bikini, bodybuilding, and fitness. Those are the lists I have in front of me. That's what I just said. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just confirming. I don't. I don't because I didn't know. Tell me uh, I'm right. You're right. <laughs> you're right, Ian. <laughs> so I'm looking at the bodybuilding here. I'll put it. I'll put it up for you guys to look at too. Um. So this is the bodybuilding list. Lionel Becky. I hope he comes in shape. He could kill everybody if he gets peeled. Bonac is the favorite. Mm-hmm. I think Bonac. Cedric, if Cedric comes in fucking on, man. You think Cedric can beat Bonac? I think Cedric can beat a lot of guys with that with his shape. Well, his like we said with Lionel, if, like same thing with Lionel. If Cedric comes in at his best, Lionel's Lionel's weak from the back, though. Even though he's so pretty from the front, he is very weak. Cedric's big. Cedric's no, wait a minute. I take that. I, I have to pause there. Lionel is not weak from the back. He's very weak. Hamstr- hamstrings, hamstrings, not back. He's back, dude. Pull it up. Oh, fuck that. Pull it up right now. Pull I'm gonna up. pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Why don't I keep back? Pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> I will pull it up, Ian. Good, do it. <laughs> you gonna pull it up? Oh, right? shit. He's gonna pull it up. Do it up. He's gonna pull, pull it up. up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it Look up. Look at this fucking pull back. That's a no. Lloyd Banks song. Da 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 da. Okay, come on, man. This guy is like find a, stage only, shot. find a stage shot. The only area Lionel is lacking is hamstrings, possibly. I gotta find a back shot. One second. Just type yeah. in Lionel Becky back double bicep. You use this fucking. You type in back shot and he gives you all front shot. Yeah. Well, it has a way of going to Google and just completely- fucking Google. Okay, there it is. tell me that's we- tell me that's not a good back. Look at the one two over to the right from that. Now, why am I looking at anything? I'm looking at this one. Just click the one two to the right. Look at this. Tell me two that's a right. bad back. Two to the right. 
Why? Okay, Why you got to find the one that you don't like? Look at his back. Two to the right. <laughs> which one? Are you, which one is he talking about? I don't know. Every one I've picked out so far is awesome. <laughs> yeah, there. One to the right. One to the left of that. Okay, fine. He's not fully in the pose there. Yeah. Okay, that's not that bad. It's I. I remembered it being worse. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll admit I'm a little wrong here. Just a little though. <laughs> look it's not like i'm not saying it's His the most fucking good. hamstrings and ass look like a fucking soup sandwich bro yeah, yeah. he needs better hamstrings for sure i'll, I'll give you guys that <laughs> soup sandwich sorry, sorry lionel your back is better than i thought yeah <laughs> okay let's move on so back to it's very polite of you <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful roasted people ian all right um so is this i i, I, I apologize i know um I was confusing his bad hamstrings and glutes with his bad back. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is this, when I look at this lineup, I got William winning. Oh, Is that, God. you guys think that or no? How dare you? I dare me what? I'm on that list. Oh, sorry. sorry. I'm <laughs> Ian, yeah, I spelled your name I'm, wrong. Where's the E? William obviously has to be the favorite. Yeah. Okay. Is it, you guys think anybody's going to be added to this or what? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Um, what about classic? I will say this. Why won't? Mean, why? Why does? It, sorry, go ahead. Go it ahead, doesn't have. It's 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 not a big name. It's not like a heavy hitter list. For That's the a honor. pretty heavy hitter list, man. It's a, it's a heavy hitter list of like guys that are six through twelfth Olympia level guys, and the only top top guy is Bonner. Yeah, but I mean, who are we? Who are we missing? Actually, uh, guy, we're missing probably like Hottie. Mr. Brandon. Olympia, Mr. Olympia never oh, usually Brandon does it. And, uh, and Brandon, 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 and Hottie. That's it. Phil's retired, and Akeem's yeah. doing it. So it's two guys, really. I just didn't seem like a fucking deep lineup. No, it's, it's a good lineup for sure. It's just a good lineup of like the next guys coming up, not the top five guys. Well, yeah. I think it's the part of the problem is it's a week before the Olympia, right? So guys like Nick and Hunter and two, two okay, two weeks, but still, guys. A lot of guys are putting their eggs all in one basket, which Do I you think, think that's good that be. they're doing it like that or no. I don't think it's good personally. I think they should make the Olymp the Arnold one or two weeks after the Olympia, or they should make it early enough that you can qualify for the Olympia at the Arnold. Yeah. Because well, yeah. now look, because now look what's going to happen. Texas is going to be the best show of the year because everyone's trying to qualify. That would have been the Arnold if they made that the last show of the year. And or if they did it a week or two after the Olympia, all the guys from the O are already in shape would go yeah. and do it, right? So, like, if they're trying to get maximum people to do it, the worst possible time to do it is two weeks before the Olympia. Because I mean, well, I, yeah, I don't know who would give up an Olympia prep for the Arnold. Then I don't mean that. In that's what I'm saying. Way, but so listen, I know some guys get like better See, as me, they progress not, in the diet. They but get better, so I'm not concerned about it at all. I also yeah, but some people don't, and that's 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 a that's a that's a fucking risk you got to be willing to take getting ready for the biggest show of the year. No, but I just think think of it in, as a business, right? If I'm the promoter, I don't normally get better. If I'm if I'm the promoter of the Arnold's and I'm thinking to myself, what's the best way to get everybody to do the show? Post Olympia, one or two weeks post Olympia. I agree. I'm not Yeah, no, yeah. You do, it, you do it like a like a like a Sharu Classic. Have it two weeks after the yeah. big first big name show up. The reason I committed to it was one, I know I get better, so I'm not concerned with two weeks. That's not an issue for me. And it's you know going from Columbus to to, to Florida is not a big deal. Yeah. Um, also they told us because of its proximity to the Olympia, we're not going to be penalized if we decide to take precedence on the Olympia. So if it gets close, I'm like, this is going to take away from my Olympia prep. We're not going to be penalized for dropping. Oh, out. you can back out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't have any intention of ever backing out. From no, no, I, I know. Yeah. If it gets yeah. the point where I'm like, shit, I really need to, you know, be focused on this last bit of Olympia or I'm behind or whatever, like whatever the contingencies may be. Um, I, I will just stick for the Olympia for sure. As, as a fan, and I don't know if you guys would agree with this, but as a fan, my favorite time was March because it always felt like one of the first shows of the year, usually it's the second show of the year, but usually it's like first, first to the season. Everyone's kind of excited about it after Christmas. Everyone's going to get ready for it. And it also gives you like this really massive show that's fully one, you know, half the year away from the Olympia. So you have these two big shows that are completely separated from each other. The only thing that sucks about it though, is that if you're doing the Olympia, the timing is terrible. No, no, but I'm speaking as a fan. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes. Not as a bodybuilder. Strictly as a fan, I'm like, I, oh, I get to look forward to this really big show in March. I get to look forward to this other really big show in October, yeah, September. You're getting your se semi-annual fix, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of cool uh, bodybuilding-wise just to keep everybody interested. I don't think it's smart uh, for the Federation 
to have the two biggest shows in one month and then the rest of the show is rest of the year is kind of dead you know I loved having the Arnold in March in Columbus. I love. I love that. It's my favorite thing, man. And it's my favorite show to go I, to. I like competing when I like it's not hot outside. I know some people like competing when it's like deathly hot. Fuck that. I'll take the, I'll take the freezing cold every time. Same. Same. Freezing cold. Yeah. I love. It. Uh, all right, let's do some questions. This one came in. I thought you guys might want to answer this. Uh, I just hired my first prep coach, and he's a male, and he wants me to send me. He wants me to send my check-in pics nude. Should I be concerned or is this normal? That's Run. From, that's from your I that motherfucker. <laughs> that's, from your, him the fucking boot, that's from bro. your buddy, Nick. That's uh Ross Flanagan sent that in. <laughs> oh, he's joking. Yeah, oh. I know. I know. I know he is. I know he is. Oh, I thought that was serious. Fuck. No. I was gonna be like, they're really I fucking, I fucking right. laughed my ass off when I fucking read that. Um There's he's definitely- awesome. He's a funny guy. Who has the highest body count on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> the promiscuous one i'm a virgin well i already know wait, your wait, no- wait, 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 i already, I already know your i already know your number nick wait no, not, no, wait I'm, wait I'm a virgin. Body count, what are you talking about you talking about sex yeah i'm yeah, not talking about murder guy what do you think we're talking about <laughs> i didn't talk <laughs> you're talking about teardrops <laughs> how many people you killed i'm not talking no. about fights man i'm talking this about this kind of show they, how, many, how many bodies that gun's got on his son <laughs> All right, seriously. I'm going to say James is out because James doesn't care about sex. Yeah. I know Paul's number. I wish I should, can't talk about. Um, I think... Well, we all we need to know is Paul's number less or more than yours. Oh, shit. I got myself in trouble. I'm not... Me and Paul are out. We're married. I'm not going to say anything. I'm married too. I'll fucking say yeah, it. Yeah, you but you're not going to get in trouble. I'll get in trouble. Okay. Um... Um, mine's mine's higher than Paul's. Okay, so then Paul's. <laughs> all, all that we need to know is if Paul is uh, is continuing or if he's out. The one I uh, the one I wonder about is Guy and Ben. Yeah, Ben. I was thinking, I'm like, fuck, is Ben a guy that's banging like 200 girls, yeah. or is yeah, ben, like, dude. Ben's number one, bro? You think I he's think up Ben's there? number? Yeah, I think Ben. Ben's, Ben's number, number one. one. Really? This is the thing, though. I think. I think. Yeah, DM him, message him right now. Yeah, I got a question. Hold on, can I ask a question? If you know Paul's number. And your numbers, you beat Paul. What's Paul's number? Because then at least I'll have a starting point. I can't point. say. I can't say. Fuad. Somebody's got to give me a starting point where I can say I'm out. Fuad, Fuad, are you in double digits? <laughs> yes. Go in the group. Go in the group and ask Ben right now how many girls he slept with. Um, okay. Because <laughs> then we will gonna... know, and then we'll know if it's more or less. He's not going to answer. Ben Chow, what is your number? Hey, five, you guys actually really bad to say. You guys keep count? No. Well, I got a, I got a vague. I would, I would literally have to like sit down. I got down. a, I got a vague idea. Yeah. I, I would, I would literally have to sit down and be like. Let me ask you this, guy. Are you in triple digits? No. <laughs> ben just said what? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, who I look real quick. Before, look, my phone's blowing up. Since, since, Nick, since Nick's got gone, look. I'm right here, you dickhead. You weren't. Hope I hope I don't lose service. Why are you trying I to inside. show shit when I'm not around? Hold on. Do I still have service? <laughs> trying to get a ballpark figure from Ben. <laughs> this guy. Why right, can you see it? Holy That's shit! Garden. That's fucking awesome. You just did that this weekend, or this week? Like, that's my garden back there, yeah. Holy like shit, Ben wins. <laughs> no, we can't, okay, are you, are you going to say his number? No. Is no. he for real? <laughs> Hold on, I got to look. <laughs> Did you see what he said after that? <laughs> yeah. Yo, is he for real? <laughs> I thought so. I honestly thought so. Yeah, Cause, you're right. Because <clears throat> Ben's got that charm about him. Yeah, I can see it. Good looking guy, he's tall. <laughs> that kind of swagger, you know, he's, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, I'm out of this then. Yeah, I'm out what is, too. What does is, what is FFS honest mean? It means for fuck's sakes. Oh. Oh, I just typed that in. <laughs> well, you just Googled it? No, I typed it in the podcast. The Into the group. group. Are you fucking looking at it? You don't see my question? All right. So I don't we, see the number. Let's. There is no number. He just. There is no number. Just read the fucking conversation, man. Guy, you lost. 
Well, yeah. We all lost. Yeah, you lost. I don't Eric- care about losing. I'm just trying to read. I'm trying to follow this. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's one word, bro. It's right in there. <laughs> Who had says oh, it? Oh, okay, okay. I, I missed. I missed the one text. Okay, I saw it. All right. Oh yeah. So- he. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I kind of think it, that's awesome. I kind of fucking thought that. Okay, good for him. Good for him. I'm a virgin compared to Ben. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. This is a good one, actually. I want to answer this. Do you think women will ever get paid as much for prize money? No. No. Can we please get deeper into this? Because it's like a thing that's going on in society right now. It's actually really fucking annoying me. What? Well, Why are people asking to get paid the same amount of money just based on gender? Or based on some random thing. Because everybody, you're fucking entitled. Yeah, but don't people understand that you get paid based on the asses you put in the seats? Based, based off your value, yeah. Yeah, it's like, how can I put it? So when I worked for Muscle Tech, right? Okay. Phil, when Phil Heath came along, they paid him five times more than me. Yeah. I didn't say, I'm a bodybuilder and he's a bodybuilder. Why aren't we getting paid the same amount? You just understand that somebody is going to bring more value. They're going to put more asses in the seats. Well, and people need to realize that a girl with 5 million Instagram followers who's won the Olympia multiple times is going to be getting paid good money. You know, it's like, but it's, you know. It's, but I mean, when, when they talk about prize money for shows, right? So let's say like, she, let's say this. Oh, this talking, sorry, for shows. Sorry, I thought well, let's talking. say, because she said prize money. So let's say the woman's implying that how come Miss Olympia doesn't get paid as much as Mr. Olympia? Because they don't fill the seats the same. That's You're right. right. So I just don't feel like same reason why women's basketball doesn't get paid the same as men's basketball. I mean, the easiest I mean, way to do this would just be to have a women's show and a men's show and see what the turnout and the ticket sales would be for both shows, you know? Yeah, and I agree 100%, but I just can't follow why people keep asking this question because it seems so obvious. Yeah. I don't you know what I mean? Like, so men men's sports can charge what they charge per ticket because people are, will pay that. You take a, a price for a Giants ticket and put it in like, or take a, a price for like a Knicks ticket and put it in the WNBA at that same price. Nobody's going to go to the game. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, the- but it's not even just a men, a uh, um, um, uh, female male thing. It's like men don't even understand this concept. Like Paulo Costa is going through this with Dana White right now in the UFC. Yeah. Because he's like, how come Jake Paul got paid or Logan Paul got paid like twenty five fucking million dollars or whatever for his fight? Because Logan Paul sells a lot more fucking tickets than you. Because because yeah, because Logan Paul has or it wasn't 25 million. It was whatever amount millions, but it's because he's got 25 million fans coming to his fucking boxing event. It's like, it's all based on who's coming to watch, whether you're male, female, it doesn't fucking matter. If nobody wants to see your shit, then you don't get paid. Yeah. All right. So I don't know if that, I don't know if that seems rude to any females watching, but it's like, I mean, the answer to this is if the day comes where as many people are interested in viewing the women's class as the men's, then yes, the prize money will be adjusted. Until then, that's, no, it will remain the same. And this is the same reason yeah. why, I mean, even someone like Chris is not confused when he makes a tenth what Phil Heath makes, yeah. you know, winning the Olympia. Like he's winning 30 grand and Phil's winning 400 or Rami yeah. because he knows that his seats are mostly full there because of guys, people, fans have come to watch the men's open, you know? Yeah, and I think that's just the main point I want to emphasize. This is not a this is not a rant against women. Not at all. It's a rant against people in general that don't understand how money is doled out. Yes. Yeah. And that's why I use the Chris thing, because you're talking about someone who's yeah. in the next biggest class that's making way less money than another class. It's just, yeah. it's not what's there selling the seats yet, you know, filling yeah. the seats. Right? Do you think, actually, it's an interesting conversation, though. Do you think if they had just a classic Olympia, do you think that it would fill the seats? I'm not sure. I think it would be good, but I don't think it would fill the seats like the men's open. I wonder. I'm curious. A lot I of people think are classic now, getting more popular year by the year. Year by I, year, it certainly is. I think it, give it 10 years, its prize money will be big for sure. But I think it's not quite there yet. Like, I'm a hardcore bodybuilding fan. I love classic. And I love watching classic, man. Like, when Chris and Bre- Breon and Terrence and fucking, you know, Brian Jones and some of these guys are like, they're fucking really impressive. Yeah, man. So, I don't know. Trust me, um, I shit, I'd shit my pants every classic Olympia. <laughs> you what? I shit my pants watching the classic Olympia. Well, That's my whole retirement plan there based on Chris, you know? <laughs> uh, you have to let a, you have to let someone else on the podcast pick out a tattoo for you, but you can't see what it is until it's done. Who do you trust with this decision? Nick. None of you people, man. Fucking nobody. Man. Wow, you son of a bitch. There's all fucking I, I trust. I trust James. 
Nick, I said you quick because I don't, I don't think you let me tattoo something stupid on myself. And I, I wouldn't. Right I away. wouldn't. But I feel like you would let me tattoo something stupid. No, I, why would I? Why would I fucking? Why would I say that to you and then fucking screw you over, asshole? You totally would, guy. You would fucking. Uh, put what? You would put something stupid. Look yeah, at your hair. Fuck. Show me your hair. Show me your hair. Huh. Show me your hair. Take your hat off. Oh my god, what the fuck? That's awesome. I think you <laughs> should you, leave. Are your you hat. throwing that out? I think you I'm should leave. Throw it out for the show. Yeah. I think oh, you should yeah. leave your hat off for the rest of the show. Yeah, it's um, like at that weird stage where it looks like shit growing in. Yeah, I don't know if there's a better stage for you. I think it might be time. What to shave it again? Just to keep it shaved. Yeah, no, I'm gonna see. Well, that's what it, this is. This is a test. This is a test. Yeah, leave it. Leave it. It's like the test that pops up on the TV screen. It goes. Yeah, you got to You got to commit. If you're gonna do it, commit. Yeah, I'm committing to it. So but Nick, is on. Nick, would you actually let guy pick your tattoo? He would. I would trust him the most. But would you let him? If oh, you yeah, have to. Yeah. Okay. You wouldn't trust James to get let you pick a tattoo? I don't trust anybody. You guys will all fuck with me just because that's the nature of my relationship. But with I, think it, I think with James, if he did pick something to fuck with you, it wouldn't be something disgusting and vulgar like I would think Nick or Guy would do. And it would be something either fucking hilariously British or it would be something actually <laughs> cool. So like, how, was that, how was Ian <laughs> hitting me and Nick? <laughs> See, you guys are fuckers. Hard. You guys are fucking... Nick would put like a big dildo on my back or something. Yeah, Nick's going to put like a dildo or a fucking squirt or like a fucking <laughs> set big of balls. dick with jizz oozing yeah. out. And shit. Yeah. <laughs> and Guy's going to put something fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I feel like... I would pick, I would pick Ben. I would <laughs> let Ben do it. Ben's pretty artistic, but I feel like Ben also has a bit of like a cynical side that might do something mean, you know? I don't think Ben would fuck with me like that. I think I he's the only one. You, but I think he might fuck with us. Yeah, yeah. I, but I'm picking, for me, I'm picking Ben. Yeah. So, Ian, you're going to go with James. I'm going with James. I trust James. He'll probably put like a piece of fucking toast on me or something, you know? Like, <laughs> like that's, I'm not, whatever. Who cares, you know? A piece of toast. I mean, I got tattoos I don't like. I can deal with a piece of toast, you know? I don't know <laughs> what this salad sandwich. Yeah. I don't know what this is about, but this is how many grapes can Guy fit in his mouth? <laughs> I have no idea. Guy, you got grapes? Guy, you got grapes? You grapes? <laughs> Guy, you got grapes? Fucking a- Like, what's wrong with people? I don't you know, got, man. We're, we're going to pause blueberries? this podcast, and you're going to go to the store and buy some grapes. You got blueberries? So when I put these questions up, guys, I put them up so that people could ask somebody directly. I know, because I got tagged in like seven no, million. So I'm going to kill you. It says, if Guy could change anything about his appearance, what would it be? I'm perfect the way I am. Facts. <laughs> no. Facts. My, my appearance. <laughs> uh, I better hair. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Better hair. Uh, I don't about height. Hair. I'm in should that we case. all should we all do it? We should all actually let you answer and then the rest of us can do it. Ian, go next. For what? What would you change about your appearance? Um this isn't this isn't bodybuilding. This is appearance. Now. It's just every. It's anything. Anything. I just. Oh, I was going like appearance. I was thinking just, like. Okay, just, fine. Okay, from head up. I wasn't no, neck, talking neck about up. like oh, I want bigger arms. Okay, yeah, okay, ne- just, neck up. I would, even, I would even these out because my ears stick out, but like not as bad as guys, but they stick out. But this one. Right, first of all, asshole, your ears stick out. Mine are just fucking big. Yes. Ian's been roasting Mine aren't you. like this. <laughs> Ian's like, been like, big. dude, Ian's been secondhand roasting you for this whole podcast. What? I was the only one Just, that told you to keep the hair. You guys are telling me he looks like shit and to shame, but I'm on his side. You're trying to make fun of him. You're like, keep your hair. It looks great. But we it know looks, I know it looks like shit. Why the hat's on? I was just telling them to commit. I'm like, yo, you're good. Stay this process out. Yeah, but I have big ears. <laughs> like mine are like satellite dishes, but mine aren't my yeah. your your one ear is making a fucking like <laughs> I'm out the window. This is it. This is what I do. I see the one, the one kinks, just this one. See, this one's good, but this one kinks at the top. I just fix that back a little Okay, so you fix your ear. Nick, what are you gonna pick? Um, nothing. I'm perfect. I already know. Fuck um, these. Pretty good. Yeah, nothing. I'm good. Nothing. <laughs> I'm I golden. You, I think you need a little longer chin. What? Yeah, it's just, chin. It's just bring it out a bit. I would. I would love. I would kill to see Nick with Guy's beard. I would kill to see Nick with Guy's ears. You <laughs> 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 um, look like an like a fucking idiot. What are you changing, Fuad? Uh, my hair. I'd like to have my hair back or my nose. I'd like to snip this, like the bit on the end. I'd just like to take it off. Well, that's what called yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to get one one day. No. Yeah. I'm going to get this, like just remove this piece yeah. right here. Let me see. Turn, turn full, turn full profile. You're, you're not that bad. It's not horrible. I just don't like it. 
Don't like what? The no, the tip of your nose? This this tip right here, yeah. Is mine bad? It's not as bad, no, because you're you're got a narrow nose. Mine's a little bit chunkier from all the growth hormone. <laughs> <laughs> Being honest. Anybody <laughs> nobody else is gonna say it. I'll say it. You find growth hormone made your nose grow? Is that real? Look at every bodybuilder after like 20 years of bodybuilding and how their face has changed. I mean, I know your nose is supposed to grow anyway through the rest of your life. Why don't we Google like Fu- let's yeah. Google Fuad 2000 and Fuad 2020. Yeah, my and nose let's is see the fucking evolution of the schnozzol. One second, does? Yeah, but our nose isn't like ears or something, the things that like keep growing with age anyways. I yeah, they, yeah, they do. Because everybody might But it makes it, I think it makes it faster. All the men that died with the last name sister, you know, half the cast, it was ears. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like my nose hasn't grown. Uh, yeah, this I says either, this says and the answer is once you're an adult growth hormone will give you a big nose but it won't make you any taller nose and ears which are made of car- cartilage will continue to grow I have little ears throughout a person's life although yeah, in Nick, most people this is hardly ears, noticeable right? so <laughs> have, you, have you seen how small his ears are I have little ears what do yeah, you mean oh yeah I thought of that when I said he needs Holy guys shit. ears yeah his ears are so small yeah That's I got crazy. my mom's ears is that a deformity no, I have my mom's ears. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that a dude for me? I kinda, I no, kinda... no, bro. No, bro. It's... <laughs> no. I just got small ears. Who's always hiding his fucking ears under those big ass headphones? That's right. That's right. I got this fucking shit. Yeah. I had big ears when I was younger. What you get? They used to call me. They used to call me Dumbo. No, my face just grew into my features because yeah. my ears used to stick out. When I was a kid, I was self-conscious about my ears, so I used to like wear a toque to bed, or I would try and tape them back and sleep on it, so I, they would get back a bit more, you know. And then you really? figured out, they figured out if you just do growth hormone, your face will grow into your ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, I, or I just realized I could grow big muscles, and people would look at my muscles and not. That's my ears. right. That's right. <laughs> and then what the hell happened to me? <laughs> you didn't get big enough. You're only two twelve. Oh my god, that's like the third one. That was, the fucking, that was the whole point of the joke, Ian. <laughs> Thanks for pointing it out. I just uh, had to point it out for the fans that didn't get it. Fuad, if you are guaranteed the same result no matter which you choose, would you rather have to blend all your meals on a 12 week prep or no carbs for 12 week prep? Blend that shit. Ew. Bro, if you did no carbs for 12 weeks, you'd be like fucking 215 on stage. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think he's right. I have to blend it. I don't I mean, think I'd be able to get down one meal. Hunter blends like fucking 75% of his meals. Eddie Abu used to do that all the time, too. I don't know if you guys know who Eddie Abu is, but I don't know how he does that. I could not drink all of my meals. And you'd probably be so fucking productive. Think of how much time you'd get back in your day drinking all your goddamn meals. Eddie used to tell me it felt great. He's like, yeah. it would be like half digested already. He'd just like make it. You think it's gross, but he would do like chicken. He's like, it's like chicken soup. It's like, it tastes the same way. Like you just blend the chicken and rice. Well, can you just do fucking whey every meal then if that's the option or no? I'd rather do whey. Yeah, so would I. Yeah, I don't know. Um, guy, if you had to replace a body part with one from an animal, what animal and what part? <laughs> <laughs> so like, if it's like one hand or like all my like hands and feet, like. It says guy. If you had to replace a body part with one from an animal, what animal and what part? Nothing? I'm trying to think there's a lot of cool animals, man. Wouldn't it be cool to be like a rhinoceros and not have your nose, but have a fucking badass fucking big horn? It'd be cooler to have a, ho- a horse's cock. No, because no one's going to want to fuck that, man. Yeah. No, we- I don't care. It'd just be cool to have. It'd be cool I to have. walk around being, hey, ladies, never been touched, but it's cool to look at. Yeah, that, that's, that, that, but you know there's going to be the ladies out there that want to try. Like, yeah, oh, Nobody's going to want to try that fucking yeah. that thing. They're, 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 they're out there. No. They're out there. They're uh, out there. Big of a dick. No, I want like fucking like, you know, like a... Like Spider Man, like have the shit on your fingers so you can like climb sides of buildings, like a spider. That's not a real you know? thing. That's not a real animal. Spiders are real animals. You fucking idiot. <laughs> you said like Spider Man. You said Spider Man though. You said no, Spider Man. Like Spider Man, because he's a like I would be like Spider Man, because he is like a spider. But the the question was replace a body part. Yeah, so I get the fucking hands, the spider. Hands. He wants the spider tentacles. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm like, you, can, you can't turn into a Spider-Man. <laughs> like, like fucking shoot webs and climb with my fucking hands and shit. Ian's yeah. face, the look of disgust when you said you can't do that, is fucking priceless. He's like, yes, you can, you fucking idiot. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> it gets so intense. <laughs> uh, these are all at Guy. What the fuck? Guy, have you ever thought of playing in the NBA? <laughs> Everybody, these are all directed you know, to I, I love how Ian laughs. <laughs> Yo, he'd be like fucking Nate Robinson. This would be awesome. Like Muggsy Bogues. Yeah, Muggsy Bogues. Yeah. <laughs> Fuad, you can only buy American cars. You get one truck, one practical vehicle, and one toy. What would you buy? And I, oh. I want to ask this. I want to ask all you guys. So, well, Ian, you go first. You get one truck, one, yeah, practical ve- one practical vehicle, and one toy. Okay, you get like a TRX, a practical vehicle, get like a fucking, uh, like a Hellcat fucking Jeep, you know, because that's yeah. like 50 kids in there too. Yeah. And then get a supercar, I'd get like a Ford GT40. Nice. That's a nice choice. Guy, anything? Well, I, I was going to pick the fucking... We're all the, probably going to pick the TRX. Yeah. Yeah, and I was going to pick the fucking, for a, a everyday drive, the Hellcat Durango, my buddy has it. Yeah, yeah I got the track so on, so we'll with that. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay, so we're on the same page there. What what exotic car do you pick? Would you pick exotic? What would you pick for your exotic? Nick, what are you picking for a truck? A TRX? I like Lambos a lot. Yeah. No, it's got to be American. Yeah, it oh. has to be. It has to be American. Oh, it has to be American. I didn't hear that. That's why I picked the GT40, the Ford. That's like that's really the only American supercar. What else is there? It's just a Ford GT now. They dropped the 40. Well, whatever. It's called the GT40. I know. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just just for semantics. I'm just... <laughs> I'd probably pick the GT4. Yeah. There's yeah, no there's GT4. It's really, just GT. Yeah, there's really. I mean, there's a Viper. I like the Viper. The Viper oh, ACR. Viper. Yeah. Like a Shelby Mustang, but that's not even like close to the. No, but if you get Mustang, the... that's. If you get one of the OG like Shelby Shelbys, that'd that's be what I was saying. Yeah, that'd be fucking dope. I might it's switch on that to be honest, but either, either are cool. Yeah, it's, is it crazy when they say American cars were like? Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Viper ACR, the last yeah. one that broke like all the fucking track records. The yeah. Ford GT is a good one. I'm just gonna go with the the Viper because I don't want to. I want to pick something different. I'm gonna go with the Shelby. <laughs> um, Nick, are you in agreement, or do you want to pick some? I'm going with the GT. What about a truck? I don't know. Yeah, but I'd probably pick that one. What about your everyday car? Um, I'd probably drive uh, an Audi. Audi, nice. <laughs> like an RS7? Yeah. Yeah, I like that pick. That's Wait, is Range Rover's own is American now. But that's, that's not a, Audi's not American, though. <laughs> oh. The Range Rover's British. Are you sure they are now? I thought they were owned by Ford now. Well, they might be, but no, actually, I thought they were, and then now they're not. I don't, I don't know the whole detail behind. Because if they were, I'd probably switch as my daily driver. I'd probably switch the. But it's a, it doesn't. I mean, even if they're owned by Ford, it doesn't really count. It's still a British. You know what I mean? It's a British brand. Yeah. Uh, Fuad and Guy, after being introduced to Mountain Dog training and Jordan Peter splits, do you still think bro split is the way to go, or low volume push pull legs type split? There is no bro split. There is only fucking pro split. All right. Let's just get that correct first. And yes, I would still do the pro split. Guy? At what point in my career are they asking? Now? Now. Or? Now. After being introduced to all these different training splits and methodologies, would you still do a pro split or would you go to push pull legs? I like push pull legs, man. Really? Yeah, I couldn't get into it. You're not doing push pull legs now, are you? Me? No, no, no. I no, 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 no. Guy, you're not doing push-pull uh, legs now, are you? It pretty up, much up, is, yeah. Up until this week, yeah, I was. Wait a minute. There is no pretty much. Do you have an arm day or not? Up. Uh, he just changed my, my whole week of training, like the way my date weeks are set up, this week coming. Yeah. Starting on this past Monday. Up until the entire prep, it was back and buys on Monday. Yeah. It was chest, shoulders, tries on Tuesday. It yeah. was legs on Wednesday, off on Thursday. It was back and buys on Friday. Oh, it was chest, shoulders, tries on Saturday, off on Sunday. It's push, pull, legs. What do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now it's different. Now it's it was. So, um, so do you chest. prefer? It's fine. Do you prefer that over a pro split? Pro split playing one body part. Yeah, one or two usually. 
what's two, most pro most most pros train one or two body parts a day meaning like chest and triceps part. or back I and never, biceps. I, always, yeah. I never did that i always did chest back shoulders arms quads separate, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. i don't that's why i i don't know you would split you guys are talking about yeah I don't have it on a day. what I don't do you know. nick i always did one body part a day besides arms what? okay well I'm okay one, one second so guys a push pull legs guy ian what are you, are you a two body parts or three body parts one body part what are you mine right now is quads and calves yep uh chest and tries yep back and buys uh shoulders and calves hams and chest and second back see that's two body parts a day i consider that a pro split yeah like i that's what i think of I hit, when i, I think just of... twice a week and 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 back twice a week and then everything else is seen like i know when people say bro split they're like one body part a day but i think they also lump the two body part day guys in there too it's basically everything that is a, is more than push pull legs yeah, yeah yeah so nick what do you what's your split look like so basically monday is back day just all all back yeah. tuesday we do chest and biceps um wednesday we do hamstrings glutes and deadlifts thursdays we're off Friday um, is delts, upper back, and triceps. And then Saturday, we do quads. Yeah, that's very specific. To me, that's not that's not push-pull legs either. That's no. definitely more of a bro or pro, pro splitter. Well, 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 mainly what Matt wants to do is bring up my back a lot more, so we're just hitting back more frequent. Really. Yeah, you're, spe you're specifically training, yeah. Same as mine, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so he, now he's got me doing chest short, so... Now he's got me chest, shoulders, legs. This is metals, off. right? Doing your training? Yeah, off, back, chest, shoulders, arms off. I'm gonna, I'm totally gonna lose this one, but not lose, but I'm gonna be the odd man out. Got to pick between uh, 24 7 being high or drunk. High. 24 7. High. Oh, high for sure. High. I get high. Well, how many 24, like how many days in a row? Like all it's the time, all day, every year, for everything. Yeah, high. I'd rather be high. I don't want to be an alcoholic. But if it's just one day, I'd no, rather okay. be drunk. We're not saying we're not saying you have to drink or smoke. You're just saying you are either high or drunk all the time. Which one? I'd rather be I'm high. high. I'd rather be drunk. Really? What? Ew. <laughs> not well. Just, there's degrees of drunk. There's like falling over drunk, or there's just really happy drunk. Okay. I will, yeah, yeah, but I would take any type of. I would be able to take. It takes, it takes two puffs to get happy, and it takes a while to get drunk. Not the, not me, not anymore. And we doesn't have. If calories. I have like, if I have like three, three or four glasses of whiskey, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah. And I would just, and I would, I would love to feel like that all the time. Hey, that feeling I might take over being high, but then if you're talking drunk, no, I'm thinking, I don't like, want. No. I'm like talking go to a party in high school and like get drunk. No, 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 no. no, no. He, he, first of all, drunk is drunk. Drunk is not buzzed. Yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. If I, I could be buzz, if I could be buzz 24 seven, I would be buzz 24 seven. That's that's but if I have to pick drunk, I'd rather be high. Okay. Good. That's not the question. What he tries to do? I'm <laughs> just trying to clarify, guy. I'm just trying to clarify. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um. Fuad or Ben, why do people have a hate on for Adesanya? Do you guys watch, guy, do you watch? Nick, are you fucking Emerald Agassi? How long does this take you to make a fucking meal? Like, you've been doing it for 10 minutes. What are you doing? <laughs> Emerald, Emerald. It's like perfection. <laughs> Fuck off. What are you making? Show me. I want to God. See. Masterpiece. It's like, you've walked back. That's what you would, that's what you fucking mushed together in 10 minutes that took that long. Are you wrong, fucking guys. shitting me? It's rice. It's, wrong, it's rice and asparagus. <laughs> yeah. And no, it's rice, asparagus, and ground turkey. We got a, um, an English muffin in here, some pink sauce, some cinnamon, some Gaines Bakery sweet pappy sauce. We got a lot going on in this bowl here. Don't That's fuck with me. <laughs> Guy, why, why do you look like you're disgusted, man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's, trying to, he's, try, he's trying to make notes so he knows how to get huge. No, James, no. James or... <laughs> wait a minute. James or Ian, would you guys ever consider doing a powerlifting meet? No, uh, no. Why? I always wondered that myself. If you can deadlift like 800 pounds, why not? Because that'll be the day he tears something. Yeah. I mean, yeah. okay. It, look, I look at this from two ways. While I'm bodybuilding, it would be stupid. And when I'm done bodybuilding, I don't want to be doing that and lifting that heavy and taking drugs like that. So it's like, no, either way, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got you. So, but yes, I mean, look, 
if I was like, okay, I'm done bodybuilding tomorrow. I'm still this big and strong. Would I do one for fun? Sure. But like, so that's you, not where my, my trajectory is. You know? So you just don't want to take a chance of injuring yourself or anything like that. I don't want to put myself in any unnecessary risk while I'm still bodybuilding. Like obviously, yes, I deadlift heavy, I bench press heavy and stuff like this, but I do it within the confines of my training and, and a limit that I know I'm safe and comfortable with, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Uh, guy in Fuad, can you take the skate the stakes of the next bet up a level? Say, winner gets to coach the other for three months. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll see. You see a lot of bets going on, man. You start saying something about Adesanya, and then and you got off track there. Because these guys don't follow UFC, so I just like I figured oh, it'd be. Did a, you watch the fights? You watched. I did. Them. I did watch the fights. Yeah, yeah Vittori got Vittori got lit up. I yeah. wasn't around, but I I I, I usually watch the fights. <laughs> I'm just not big into like who's who. Man, Nick Diaz or fucking Nate Diaz can take a goddamn beating that guy, eh? Dude, I was almost almost on my feet at the end of that fight when he almost yeah. knocked him out. I Man, was when like, he got him and stunned him, and then he kind of like took five seconds to get that next. I was like, what are you doing? Dude? I know, I know. Chase him. Like, what the fuck? He clearly yeah. didn't see it like we saw it, you know? I think he did. I think he just. Nah, he, you piece of bro. When you're like. No, no, like, I think he saw it. I think he's just, he's like that. He's just a kind of a mellow fighter. Yeah. It's weird. It's like he's stoned. While he's fighting, I don't know what the fuck it is, but he doesn't ever get excited like that. No. Um. Do you think you would have been successful in any path you chose for your career had it not been bodybuilding? That's directed to all of us. Yes. Um. I don't know. It's hard you, to even think think outside of it, you know. Me neither. Like I never even thought that. Well, you just think if if you if. At something else you did, would you put the same amount of effort into bodybuilding? My answer is yes. So my answer is I would be successful doing it, whatever I did. Like, no, if I was working at fucking a supplement store right now, I probably would not be busting my ass like I am as a bodybuilder now. No. No, but if I started working at a supplement store and that's what I enjoy doing, I'd end up owning a supplement store. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I think I would, not to be an arrogant fuck, but I think I would have been successful no matter what. Yeah, but I just... The proof is in the pudding with you. Like you started a supplement company, you had a good yeah. career. And you're you're at that point where that is is true to you. So I just think because I remember being in high school. You're just someone that hates to lose and hates to suck. So like you're you're gonna try to find not, a way. You're gonna not be shit at whatever it is. Yeah. 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 I, I think I, we're all kind of like that, but I think you're extreme like that. Yeah. Um. I remember being a kid, and my, my parents would drive around like the rich neighborhoods in the city, and be like, "Oh, look at that house! Look at that house!" Yeah. And I remember thinking to myself one day. I never nope. said, and I never said, oh, I'll never have that, or I'll never. I always remember one day. One day, and I always knew. I never knew what I was going to end up doing, but I always knew that I would figure out something. So, um, let's see, Nick Walker, you got to. Oh fuck no! Why did I start reading that? Oh no! <laughs> yes, he's the best. Oh, no. Yeah, you're not going to like it when I read it, guy. All right, let's oh. hear it. Wait, then why? Nick Walker, you get to peg both Fuad and Kyle. Oh, I saw this one. <laughs> I get the what? No, no, because he's going to say yes. I know him. No, nah, I got to finish the question. He's going to say yes. You don't want Just him let to me finish. read the question. Oh. Finish the question. Nick Walker, you got to peg both Fuad and Guy Cicerino, and in doing so, you guarantee yourself 10 Olympia wins in your bodybuilding career, or don't peg either of them, but you will only win one Olympia. Why would he definitely pick the other one? Just um, what does what does peg mean? Fuck him in the ass. I, I gotta fuck you. Pegging, in the ass. pegging is actually when a girl fucks her boyfriend in the ass. Yeah, but it's with, him a, with a dildo. Yeah. But he, so yeah. they're saying I'm, I gotta fuck you in the ass to both win of them. Olympias. Both of them. Both of us. So you're basically <laughs> fucking Fuad for five Olympias and Guy for five Olympias. <laughs> Can I take the second five? Because he'll be older and he won't be as good. He'll be, he won't hurt me as maybe, much. Maybe he'll be really like motivated to get that next five and he'll just jack <laughs> the shit out of you, you know? Well, if we want to know the answer, I'm not fucking any guy in the ass. So you'll just take one Olympia then? You'll take the one I Olympia? I would take one. Yeah. So I'm not fucking no dudes in the asshole here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Ian, uh, if Chris continues to win the Olympia and he... Would he ever try and do the Arnold as well at some point? Uh, potentially. I'm trying to convince him to do the Arnold for the men's open. <laughs> Dude, that would be awesome. Yeah, I want to do it with me. That would be fucking... He, I think he, he would probably do really, really well. Dude, people <laughs> would, he would do well, and people would love to see that. No, it would be awesome. 
one time before he retires, we'll get him to do an Arnold or something like that in the men's open. And now I'm going to title this video with that. Uh, Chris, Chris does Arnold classic Chris men's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you got? What do you guys take your sponsorships based on? What goes into your thought process when picking a sponsor? That's a, a deep question. Mm. That's very deep. I think I'm going to be. Com- the longest you answer it. I'm going to be completely honest for people because. I don't think a lot of people would be completely honest, but when you're starting out, you take what you can get. That's the truth. No, nobody, anybody who tells you, unless you're fucking Phil Heath and you're a phenom, nobody, nobody when they're starting out who doesn't have a fan base, who isn't like crushing all the shows gets to pick their sponsor. No, they beg, they beg or try and chase a sponsor and somebody gives them an opportunity and then they take it like, you know what I mean? So yeah, uh, and then as you get better, and as you get older, and as you build up some clientele, some some fan base or whatever, and you may leave that first sponsor, you then start to have a choice of where you're going to go after that. So when I picking after that, <clears throat> I think I went to Cage because my wife worked there, and I liked their products; they were pretty pure, and um, I was the only bodybuilder. So it was appealing to me. I'm like, okay, I can kind of like yeah, it'll get a little bit more notoriety here. I'm not one of like 30 different people. Yeah. So one man show. I think it was a few different combination of things, like the wife and being the only guy. And then Branch came over afterwards, so that was cool. But um that's how I made that choice. So I didn't really SciTech, actually when I picked SciTech, um that wasn't even a choice, actually. I'll be honest. That was uh muscle tech had cut me because they were making room for Phil Heath. So they cut like 13 guys. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And uh, I had no contract for like three months and I'd reached out to like three or four different companies and SciTech called me and I had gotten two other offers and SciTech's offer was better. And I thought it was kind of cool to be able to travel to Europe and stuff and do those kind of things. And when so, you say this offer was better, you mean this- financially, financially. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm going to, if, if anybody out there says to you the financial, the, the, money side of the contract doesn't matter they're lying they're liars yeah, the, yeah this is a fucking yeah. job at the end of the you're day like somehow independently wealthy and have like fucking 10 billion dollars in the bank yeah, yeah. but that know. also that being said like there's a limit right it's like i'm not gonna go with a totally shit company just because they paid me a ton of money there has to be some alignment in my um like my <laughs> beliefs yeah, you got to, and I tell people this too. People think that's bullshit. Like, you got to at least like and use and believe in the products. I, every company I've been with, I've used the majority. I don't use every product from any company that I've been okay. with, but I make it very known what products I use. And what no well, I've, um, go ahead. I say a lot, a lot of guys will, will collect a paycheck and never use the products or know yeah. the ingredients or what's in it or what it does or, that's a problem. I've said this before, and, 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 and I'm just going to, like I said, I'm being completely honest. When I signed on with Muscle Tech, I was young. I didn't know better. It was a good contract, so I picked it up. I advertised everything they told me to advertise. I used the supplements, but I didn't use all of them. Yeah. But I advertised all of them, right? And I've never been with a company that I didn't use any of their products. But, I've, but after that, after Muscle Tech, I realized I'm only going to advertise the things I use. That you use and believe in, yeah. Yeah, so like when I went to SciTech, for example, SciTech used to manufacture their own supplements. So they had like 200 fucking products. Yeah, they had a lot of good stuff. Yeah. So I, but I only, but I only posted about the stuff I actually used, right? Because I'm not going to, like, I'm like, I don't use all these 200 different fucking types of supplements. So I just posted stuff I used. So that made me feel better about myself. I don't see nothing wrong with that, though. Like some companies get mad at that. What do you mean? Posting like stuff like you, you don't use? post all the shit. Oh no, I would never make anybody do that that worked for us or anything. And I and I and I I was happy that I stopped doing that after I worked for Muscle Tech. You, you oh, should only yeah. post you should having only post the shit you use. Having that feeling of it goes a long way for sure. Yeah. So how important is it to you guys? Uh, like I kind of explained my my point of view. You guys just agree or do you guys have a different No, I, no, mean, I, I agree. agree. You know, I mean, mine's very similar to yours. Like obviously with Rob, I mean it was just like you said with yeah. Cause your wife was there. I mean, it was the same thing. Like Melissa was coming there and, you know, Chris is with revive and stuff like that. So, you know, there's a lot of things that kind of bring us all together. And I mean, you know, it was, there was a bunch of different things, you know, obviously the money mattered. I mean, the, the, yeah. the products mattered. I mean, there was a lot of things, you know, obviously with Matt and Dom, you know, there were, you know, guys I know and, and 
you know, I've had a relationship with Matt for years. I mean, you know, guys like Nick being over there, something that I, you know, obviously really liked as well. So, yeah. Yeah. So there's a few different factors. And then Nick, you're obviously friends with Matt. So that's a, a huge factor for you. Well, that was a big factor, but you know, that's not the main reason why I joined, you know, I, I know how serious Matt and Dom are with their shit. Yeah. And I know they take the time to put out quality subs. Yeah. So that's for me, that that's, that rules majority. Like if you're, you, if you put out quality subs and you bust your ass to do so, mm -hmm. I'm on your side hundred percent with that j just on its own. And the fact that they're great people as well. And, you know, I know how Matt is. I know how Dom is. It was just an easy decision for me to make. Let me ask you this. Let's say when you were signing your deal with Matt and be honest. Okay. Another company comes along and offers you double the amount of money. What do you do? So I can, I know, I know they say money matters and I get that, but I can honestly say for, even if they offered me more, for what they have done for me outside of paying me more, I wouldn't take the other company. Okay. But, and that, that goes to my original point is those you guys, are, those begin. guys, are, those guys are your friends. So they're always going to like take care of you a little bit better. Right. So that's probably the main, like, I'm just trying to say like the main point to you going there, obviously the supplements are good, but the selling point is that you're best friends with the guy. Well, I mean, I think the selling point is and the same thing with the same thing with Ian. Like you were saying, I think, same thing. I think, I think it should be used that like the, the thing for Nick is the selling point is comfort. You know, yeah. it's because he's comfortable with, he trusts. Yeah. yeah. You no, know, I think it's Listen, comfort. Look, I'm in the same, I'm in the same boat. I've known PJ since 2000. I've known him for 21 years. I've been, mm -hmm. we started training together when I was in college. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, that, and I, you know, when I made my decision, I had seven different companies and I had seven offers in front of me. Well, uh, and I was like, you know, a lot of them stood out, but what stood out the most, I was like, I know this guy for 21 years and I know what he will do and what he won't do. So I early, was like, well, yeah. early on in your careers, did you sign with people based on take what I can get? I mean, the out? trajectory, like you said, it was dead on. I mean, at, start, at the start, you take what you can get. Someone yeah. gives you just even supplements, you take it. Well, so my, my first company was Nutribio. Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. But I mean, but you guys agree. Well, I mean, Nutribio is a good company, so you you got lucky that way. But most, do you think most of us, as pros now, obviously we don't do that. But when we started, do you just take what you can get? Yeah, right. I think getting your foot in the door, you know, and building relationships, and you know, getting in that habit of like, you know, like that world of that your responsibilities, responsibilities, yeah. the social media world and having these responsibilities is a good thing to do. It's just like, it's getting job experience, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think it's good. It looks good on the resume. It's good job experience. I think it's a good thing. You know, like if I was to jump in, like I'd never worked for a company and I was to, you know, you jump into a contract where you're getting paid, you know, like a Chris Bumstead six figure contract with a lot of responsibilities. That's going to be like, Holy shit. You know, but like yeah, we yeah. all had that, like, okay, well we had like, you know, our first contract where we were just getting supplements, our second one supplements and maybe 500 bucks a month and supplements at 500 bucks a month plus some travel. And then it's like, you know, so you've yeah. got to kind of custom the way up, right? That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, but my it, point it build, also, builds up your, your tolerance to what you got to do. For sure. But also what you can take, what, what we took then and what people offer and take now are very fucking different. Why? Absolutely. What do you mean? Can you explain that? Because back, I feel like back before social media, the, the the starting out had a lot more meat on the bones than it does now because at well, social media is so flooded. Now they're like, oh, here's a jug of protein for starting out, or here's like a hundred bucks a month for fucking products. Not really, really, not, re not really. The wait a minute though, not really. There was a, a different criteria. Like there was less pro cards given out. So when you got a pro card as a bodybuilder, you were pretty much guaranteed money. So in that way, you're right. But my first contract was just supplements too. Yep. Like I just, I was with fusion nutrition and they were just giving me like 300 bucks a month in supplements. I did that for three or four years. Yeah. Damn. So, you know, like that's, I don't think that's, that's not very different from some of the guys I have on my team right now that I've, that I've brought on. I, mean, I was with Gat, my first one, this, my initial contract was just supplements and clothes yeah. and stuff. Why? What was your initial contract guy? You never had a supplement contract. You went right to money. Well, I don't consider like an ambassadorship a contract. So. Well, it's technic it's still technically an agreement. Like like like, I, like when I was an amateur, I was with species. Yeah, and they gave you supplements. Yeah, but that's an, that's not a con that I don't can see. I don't consider that. It's a it's a sponsorship. Doesn't matter what name you put on it. It's you're still yeah, a, you're not getting something in return. 
I don't, I don't, I, I think nowadays doing that, I, I know you're going to disagree with me. I, I don't think that's a very a good thing to do. I, I think it's necessary. What is it? Wait, what is it a good thing to do? I, I think it's necessary for supplement companies to do it, but I don't think it helps athletes. That's not true. I, I, I just, I'll, it, that's, that's it fine. No, you're I not, agree with you're not, for somebody who's been in the supplement industry as long as I have, probably longer than anybody on the podcast, not true. Um, I've seen it all, and I ambassadorships for athletes are not good because companies will see that an athlete is doing something for free. And that does not bring any monetary value to an athlete. We're so all, not, we're all interject me is going to change that. Cause that's a, tr that's a fact. See, but where I'll interject here is okay. Yes. If you're always staying at the same level in your social media, your competitive career, well then yeah, you're always going to get the same thing. But see, for me, when I signed with GAT, I was getting just supplements, but then through GAT, I'm the guy that was the, you know, the athlete manager there ended up leaving and going to another company to uh, iForce. So I met that contact. And then as I got to be a better bodybuilder, he was like, Hey, I'm with iForce now, you know, you just turned pro. Why don't you come over Trust here? Was okay. him, right? I got a little bit better contract. And then when I, you know, with there, then that same guy ended up going, you know, hooking me up with ANS. I met ANS, ANS paid me more money. And then it's like these contacts, these people in the industry I met. And then as my career trajectory increased, my value increased. So yeah, if you're someone that's an ambassador, and your value is low and stays low, well then yeah, you're just gonna get supplements forever. But if your value is increasing, then your contracts will increase. So I don't that's, think it's- uh, That's not necessarily true. Time out, time out. That we know that have big social media followings don't have contracts now. Excuse me, guys, I actually own a supplement company. Yeah, go. <laughs> Can I just say something? <laughs> like, so I have ambassadors, right? And I, and I, listen, I'm not gonna say this because I own a supplement company. Guy, I agree with you. If you're just signing, you're just getting supplements and that's your entire, that you don't actually need them. It's not necessarily that important, but I also agree with Ian that you can build a lot of, you can build up tolerance to what you're supposed to do for a company, number one. So later you're not blown away by all, by all your responsibilities. But more importantly, the guys that are on my team, and this has already happened once, they start as ambassadors and now there's two of them now that are getting paid. Yep. So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, you started at the bottom, just like you start at the bottom at any company. You work and up. Then, and then- they prove themselves. Their social media has gotten better. Their sales have gotten better. Their code is selling more. And now, now wait, wait, of supplement companies never end up with that. It company. depends on the company. I just, I just right? that's why I left the one percent yeah. there for you. But I'm just saying because most companies will sign somebody to that contract and they'll hold them to it. Whereas because I was an athlete, I recognize okay, this person went from, you know, he was selling this much. Now he's selling fucking this much. Uh, I got a reward. This is what I said. Value. So all, so, exactly. So eight months into eight months into this kid's contract. So he's technically get, working for his contract then. Yeah. So, that's, so is he, is he, everybody's working for their contract or he, though. Or he's ambassador. No, everybody's working for their contract. No, no, I, I know that, but he's getting paid based on sales, right? He's getting paid, paid based on sales. Yes. And he's getting, but that's how everybody is. Mm. Your worth, your worth is dictated by your code. That's how you know, every company does. I, I you don't, do you don't you don't know you don't know value when you're signing somebody based on their code because you're not going to know what they did in number. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. There's there's not only one way to do this, right? So, I'm just saying, but like, no, no. Well, let me explain. Rami, let me. Rami, got, Rami signed with Enhanced Labs, right? You got a six figure. Wait a minute. Lab. Let me. Finish. They don't know what Rami's numbers are going to do with his fucking with his. With yes, his they do. Code. Yes, they, yes, they do. They have. First of all, they have an idea. Second That's of all, I totally disagree, disagree with you. One I second. Totally disagree with you. One second. First of all, you don't sign everybody the same way, right? Not every contract is written the same way. Not everybody you brought on is the same way. I'll give you an example. Well, then the this argument's null and void because we can sit here all day and do this. No, no. It, of course it is. It's a case by case basis. It's I'll just say, I but I'm trying to it's... I'm trying to dispute the fact that you're saying it doesn't make sense to sign for just supplements, and for some people it does. So I'll give you an example: Nathan Diasha. We sign Nathan. I don't sign Nathan because I'm like I think his code is going to do fifty thousand dollars a month. I sign Nathan because he brings credibility to the brand. I'm excited to see what he can do, and I want him to grow with the company and see his placings go up. He's not a code athlete. He's a sponsored at. He's a contracted you said, athlete. You just said you sign people based on their code. I said it's a case by case. Ago. I said it's a case by case basis. I also, so, so, so Nathan, hold on, hold on. I also said it's a case by case basis. But you can't so pick and choose. It? It's a case by case basis. What do you mean? No, it's not you. But well, you first said it, it's based off the. It's always based off the code. I am. Their code mat. The code matters, of course. You're still going to track it. You know why I'm going to track it? Because Nathan. No, no, I'm not saying. How do you track somebody's code who you don't have on your team yet? 
because so you have an idea of that. Because if you have, if you've been around the industry at all, you have an idea of what someone's code might be doing. The, the, I, I, I the, mm. that to me Look is. It. Prob- I have no idea how you can say that and just think you know what somebody does sale wise. Because you can take a look at their engagement. You can take a look at what their YouTube following is. You can take a look at what their engagement on their pages and people they're commenting back. You can see how people are, are people interested in this person? If they are, they might buy from them. If nobody's engaging with this person, they're probably not going to buy shit from that person. You can have a pretty good guesstimate. And actually we've been pretty spot on so far. So it's not that hard to kind of figure out where somebody fits. Nathan doesn't have a code. Nathan has a code, but his contract is not based on that, okay. right? But this is why the code is important. Nathan signs for this much money, right? His code is given to him. If his code goes fucking like this, then Nathan's contract will be increased. What if his so, code does shit? It doesn't matter. He's got his base, right? So like he's got his athlete contract. But it's based but- on- he's an athlete. But if it's based on him as an athlete, but if his code all of a sudden takes skyrockets and his sales are through the roof, then as a company owner, I'll say he's worth this much more. Yeah, you're right? so, his work. So both of those things matter. It's not the code matters and your potential matters. So when you're talking about a new guy who comes in who has no potential, no real competition history to talk about, you give him supplements. You're like, here you go, man. Let's see what you can do. Then when he starts posting a lot and his sales go through the roof. Okay, the co- are you talking about amateur or are you talking about a pro? Both. Both. I'm saying I case think by any case. Professional, I think any professional athlete that, that is, is with a company that doesn't have a salary-based contract that is just an ambassador, a pro, I think is an idiot. I don't think you're right based on how you get. That, I think amateurs that have ambassadorships, I can understand. I think as a professional athlete and you have a fucking ambassadorship, I think that is the dumbest thing in the world. I don't think you're right based on how many people are pros I'm not being right about, I don't think being a pro in anything, you should do anything for free and I get agree. it to dug a fucking protein is a slap in the face as a professional. That's athlete. fine. If you just started, if you just start, I'm going to tell you the truth though. If you just start, if you, if, let's say you're a pro, right? Watch, watch what he's going to, go ahead. Watch what no, 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 let's just watch let's, this. Let's say you just. No, I, I, I already have an answer to what you're going to say. Go ahead. Okay, good. So you just turned pro. You just turned on your fucking Instagram. You're like post number one. And then you call me and you're like, I want to get paid. I just turned pro. And I'm like, nobody follows you. Nobody knows who you are. You have nothing to offer me. That's okay. I thought you were going somewhere completely different. Uh, of course you did. That's so <laughs> well, you, uh, you see uh, the kind of uh, case, uh, you see the kind of case you're trying to make. I'm trying to name but, a guy that just I'm turns t- pro with no fucking social media. I name already fucking I've talked. Okay, you want to you want to know one who's uh let me make, make, let me no, make no, 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 no. The classic guy. What's his name? It's classic guy. Black guy. Awesome shape. Who is he? Uh, what's his name? I'm, and nobody knows him. Nobody knows him. No, 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 no. I'll tell you exactly what happened. So, Steve Lorius. Yeah. So Cage Muscle, I was helping them recruit guys. Steve Lorius. Well, let me, let me finish. Him and let I me finish. With him and I know way more about his following than you think. So you let's don't know anything until there. you let me finish speaking. So Cage Muscle said, give him a call. So I gave him. Try, I call his manager because he doesn't even have a fucking social media yet. His friend, his training partner, manager, whatever the fuck you want to call him. He's like, yeah, Steve doesn't have fucking social media yet, but he's working on it. Cage immediately wasn't interested. They're like, no, he's got to have a social media. That's what matters. And I'm sorry to tell you the truth, but nowadays your placings are secondary to your value. And when it comes to value, it doesn't matter. In this, in this day and age, that's really what it is, though. Case, I mean, like, look at this guy. I mean, remember when he hadn't competed for a while, just in Indy, that guy like Brian Balzano. He had been completely out of the industry competing for, what, two or three years? Had, yeah. had never competed as a pro yet. I mean, he wasn't posting on social media. He's not going to come onto social media and get big contracts when you're not active, even though you're a pro. Look, man, I, I'm sorry to tell you. like The, 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 the guy the, mute me? The guy so, muted himself because he's talking on the phone. But the, the, the truth is... So is he calling Steve? I, I do believe in this day and age, the way social media is, your 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 social media does matter more than your placings. I would, I, I would love to be able to say that the I would, the, the purest the purest in me is like. I only want to sign guys who are going to be the very best. I don't care about their social media. I mean, if you that's but the truth, but the truth in this day and age as well, your code matters. Of course, but if you on have, how much you get paid. If you're sure. winning the Olympia and don't even have social media, it's going to be hard to put a value to you because what can you do for a company versus that's you're right. someone that say has doesn't compete and has 10 million Instagram followers. You have value. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's, it just goes back to our UFC t- discussion, right? You have yeah. UFC fighters who are way better fighters than Jake or Logan Paul. But yeah. Jake and Logan Paul are going to make more money because they have eyeballs, man. It's like, I'm not trying to be a dick. It's just, it's facts. Like your, your following yeah. is a dictate. Realize this, this isn't 2001 anymore where it's like you turn pro and you get a flex magazine contract and it's like, you know, you're making six yeah. figures. It's not like that anymore. I mean, there's so many things and there's so many people and there's so much accessibility now. It's a culmination of things that matter. You yeah. know, like for, you know, a guy like, or like Nick or I, obviously our competitive prowess matters, but yeah. so we also have decent sized reach. So like these things are a culmination. And when you combine them all, that is what gives our value. Yeah. Which you know? exactly. I mean, I mean, look, this podcast is an, exa- a re- a, a, an example. Like you guys are doing the podcast. It's helping people come to your pages and learn who you are. Like that's one of the things you do to like gain more yeah. fans and more fan base. Right. you do, or Nick, like you have your own YouTube channel. You do YouTube videos all the time. Yeah. Same, same thing. You're trying to build your fan base. That's how your money is directly related to that. But guy is not, doesn't want to agree with me for some reason. I wouldn't be nearly as motivated to do social media if it wasn't getting them something out of it like this. You know, we that's all right. athletes do social media at the amount we do because it's helping increase our value as athletes you know yeah no it's 100 percent true i mean how often are you in the gym training and you're like i gotta stop and do a video you don't really want to stop and do the video no but you have to yeah it's part of your job it's part of your job all right can we move on or is oh okay so i'm trying to what's going on here i'm trying to figure out if guy's gonna is calling steve lorius or if he's getting evicted (laughs) yeah that's fine um let me see i would say let's move on but i feel like guy is gonna bring us right back to i know sub- he's gonna have a we want us all just wait a few minutes oh uh, yeah what's your address <laughs> nick who in the group yeah. would you want as backup in a bar fight who would you want the least and who would you least what want to be going, going against in a bar fight in that group in our group like ben, me, nick. Okay. The whole ben included <laughs> thank you like the whole group? Everybody, yeah, everybody. You better if you uh, fucking save me, Nick. I swear to God. <laughs> what? What happened? Nothing. Say, say, say the, say the one more time. You can who do you want it. to fight? And who do you want to have your back? Or I probably have guy. Guy, guy would have my back. So, wait, who? What did who did Vlad say? The question. I didn't say it. The question is. The question is just the dick. Nick. Nick. Who in the group would you want as a backup in a bar fight? Who would you guy? Want, who would you want the least? And who would you least want to be going up against in a bar fight? The least person I would want is Fuad. <laughs> you fucking cocksucker. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an asshole. <laughs> and the least person I'd want to go up against in a bar fight, I'm gonna pick James. That's yeah, that's a good call. I agree. I would want to fight James. I feel like deep down, James is like a fucking demon. Yeah. And he's just waiting to unleash. Yeah. Got some shit and I, I don't want to be that guy he does it to because then I'm going to look like a total bitch. So yeah. I'm not not going there. I'm going to pass on that one. Yeah. I'm like, nah. I'm guy, who, guy, who are you taking with you? Who Who is the guy you're taking with you? And who is the guy you least want to take with you? Choose wisely, guy. And okay, so the podcast includes everybody, James. everyone, everyone, everyone. Honestly, I don't, I don't, uh... don't say you can handle it on your own. No, 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 no. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna say that. I, that's not what I was gonna say. I'm not, I am not fucking Nick Walker. <laughs> I can handle it on my own. Uh, I, I don't think I'd want to fight Ian. I was gonna pick Ian, but I'm very something good. about James. Like it just yeah, yeah but James, I feel like he's got so much back hair that if I can't hit, I can grab onto anything. He's got so much shit to grab onto. No, he looks pretty groomed right now. I think he put up picks. He's well groomed right now. You want me to pick? Do you want me to pick him instead of you? Because I'm picking you as being a tough guy. Okay, right pick now. me, yeah, pick me. So you're you're in here fucking smacking me around all fucking okay. podcasts. Now I'm giving you saying Thank you're the guy I most likely don't want to fight. Thank you. And now you're getting mad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind. Just saying James isn't that hairy, okay? Um, and I think to have my back. Honestly, I think fucking Nick in a bar. I yep. think Nick takes. I think Nick. If I was about to get into a fight and Nick had my back, I think everybody would try to fight him before me because he's so many. <laughs> who would? Who would you take? Who is the least? 
<sighs> Here it comes. Just say it. <laughs> no one's a bad choice on this one. Like, everyone's a bad choice here. Sorry. Just pick a fucking name. There's well, not many to choose I, from. Yeah, it's... Uh, James seems like he's a loose cannon, so I can't say I, at least. <sighs> Fouad's the oldest, so I could just say he might crumble the fast if he gets hit. I don't want to say that. <laughs> <Dyke>. <laughs> you can find out, motherfucker. It's and fine. Ben looks like he's just banged a lot of chicks and been on a lot of fights. So <laughs> I feel like Ben would fuck shit up. Yeah, Ben's I'm a not, I'm boy for anything. Uh, I'll go with, I'll say Fouad. <laughs> you fucking cocksucker. Uh, guy would be the least. I knew it. I knew he was going to come at me over you, Nick. I knew it. So no <laughs> surprise there. Um, I think I would take Ben with me. Good choice. Yeah, I can see that. I'd take Ben. Ben's fucking done some martial arts and shit. Ben's lethal. And I think Ben's a lot fucking tougher than people give him credit for. Uh, no, I. That's why I. I, yeah, I think we. I think we all give him credit for it. Yeah, no. We, I no, would we, take, uh, yeah, I would take Ben as my backup. And who do you not want to fight? Um, I would want Guy the least to be my backup. Yeah, you, you said that. that twice. You don't have to oh, say. Oh, sorry. I just trying to clarify because the question. I just he wanted, wanted to make sure you you heard it. I heard, you, asshole. <laughs> who would I least yeah, want that. to fight? Ben. Ben. Yeah. I, no, yeah. you can't bring Ben and not want to fight. You got to pick someone else. Why? If, if I think he's the toughest guy, I'm going to bring him as my backup, and I also don't want to fight him. We all picked someone else. You got to pick someone else. Pick someone well, if else. I got to pick the second, okay, fine. If I got to pick someone else, it's probably going to be the fact that you even thought that was okay to do blows my fucking mind. <laughs> Such an angry person. This the is fact running, that you- running around <laughs> screaming. The fact, the fact that you had the balls to pick the same fucking person for the thing when we all had to pick other guys is mind-boggling to me. But it makes the most sense. But you can't do that. Nobody said the rules. I'm just making the most sense. That's not sense. It's stupid. That means I could have, we could have picked one person for all, for all three categories. No, you can't. You picked all three, for all three, you moron. Because one's going to be the least and one's going to be the best. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, okay, who do you not want to fight? Probably James. Yeah, probably James. I think Nick would be slow. Uh, <laughs> I think Ian's probably too nice. He wouldn't, too he wouldn't be sav- savage enough. He would probably just. I'm gonna see you in public at some point. Guy is too small. I would just <laughs> I'd wrap, I'd wrap him up like a pretzel. Um, <laughs> I fucking fold you like a taco shell. Son. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on before we all get in a fight. Um, okay. Uh, best and worst side effects you've all had from compounds. Best and what, what's the best? Like I gained. Uh, the well, the I best. feel like I'm on top of the world. I came seventh in yeah. the Olympic. Best result. Yeah, like I don't yeah. know. Best side effects? I don't know. Fucking feel great in the gym, man. I won New York Pro. <laughs> I'm crazy. I don't know what else. Like worst side effects? I lost my hair. Uh. But I don't. But I don't even know if that's like all my brothers are fucking bald too. That's a thing. My dad doesn't have hair. I mean, dad, it's. I think it's it obviously excel, it ex, I feel it like if you're prone yeah. to certain shit, that yeah. just enhances it. Yeah, it definitely I've accelerates. Had, I know. I've never had acne. I've never like. I don't. I've never had. Okay, so if we're wait a minute, if we're excluding hair, because hair, like, my, like I said, my brother has lost their hair too. So I've had a couple of bad bouts of trend cough. I would definitely not want back. I had gyno that's surgery. Not, that's that's not, the worst. Yeah, yeah but that's not like a. That's not something that like. That's a okay. side effect. I mean, if, if you were giving a medication, say when you take this, it may cause a cough. That's a side effect. Dude, there's times where I'm like, I don't want to take yeah. my fucking shot because of the fucking trend cough. Me neither. I'm sometimes I'm like, it's not even worth it. I don't want it. Do you Do try you know, mixing it? You try mixing it? Yeah, you mix it? Yeah, I always I mix all my things in the same syringe. Well, no, no, no. But I've taken less and mixed it into like with my test or something. Oh, like diluted it. Yeah. Yeah, so that it's yeah. not like. Yeah. No, but I think what happens a lot of times when you draw it out, if you're drawing compound 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 or comp- and do you do you mix it in this do you mix it? okay always yeah there's a lot of times if you get that 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 dose of it right away that's what does it if you mix it, it's all it once. the speed you shoot it in makes it big you gotta go slow you yeah. gotta go slow with it yeah. yeah i had a buddy once call me he thought he was 
he was going to call the ambulance. Yeah, man. He was the having first a time I ever had it happen when I was young, like my first cyclo trend, I legit thought I was going to die. Like it was the scariest yeah, thing. I've ever. had that. Yeah. Where my you're like, you're coughing so hard, you start sweating. You're yeah, like, like trying to breathe in every little breath. So right here. Yeah. My buddy called me. He goes, bro, bro, I, I just, and I go, you just to give yourself a shot at trend. He's like, yeah. And I started laughing. He's like, dude, it's not funny. I was like, you're fine. He's like, dude, I'm about to call the ambulance. I'm like, you're fine. Yeah. I'm like, it's normal. He's like, dude, he goes, I don't know my chest. I'm like, you're fine. So he ended up calming down and he was fine. And he's like, I'll never do that again. <laughs> what is, what is trend? Do you guys know what trend cough is? It's it's like, it does something to your, your lung capacity. Like um, but I think it's something that they use as a preservative for trend more than the actual compound itself. Okay. Yeah, if it affects your lungs, but it's only for like a, a like a split like second. Yeah, ten minutes at most. Yeah. Um, guy. What is with people and targeting me? Lately? Just okay, fine. I'll pick a different. No, one. I want to know. Go ahead, ask it. Macro meals along with it says I macro meals. I don't know what this. This is written wrong. But it says oh, I'm, mac made to macro. I macro meals along with forty five minutes of fasted cardio four days a week and lift six days a week. However, I see I never see abs. What do you think is the key to seeing abs? I don't know the question then. I think he does macro eating. Yeah. yeah. Like like I like if it fits your macros. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. That might be what the I means. I don't I don't do that. I don't know any bodybuilders that calorie count. Like Yeah, you know, nah. Yeah. We don't do that shit around that's here. The problem with people what with that whole thing. I think it's bullshit. I got a okay, I got a I got a better one. It's here. I would love to hear from all of you. Advice on being in a relationship with a bodybuilder. What do you think is most important and what's the best way to show up for my man? Support. Communication. Oh, by different. the way, Nick, I got so many bad messages about our podcast two weeks ago, I think it was. Why? Why? Because we were trying to give the girl advice as to how to please her man. Oh. Cool. Yeah, and you were on this one, but Guy and Nick and Paul were on. What did you say? These guys were like, <laughs> just went off. <laughs> Bro, the girl with the question was the, the wait, let me ask Nick, let me ask Ian the question. If I'm having the girl says, if I'm having trouble keeping up with my guy's sex drive, what do I do? Wait, you're missing the big point though. What was the point? The the, the, the kicker was she was getting aggravated at him, Ian, because he was horny like a bunny, apparently. Yeah, and she couldn't keep up. But it was a long distance relationship. No, don't it doesn't matter about that part. What the, <laughs> no, no no, but that's not the part they got mad at. I want to know what you tell her for advice. Like if she can't keep up with her man for sex. Take one for the team. <laughs> so kind of what Nick said. Yeah, what Nick said. Nick basically said, if you can't fuck, if you, Nick said, if you can't fuck every day, get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a bunch. Oh, I got, guy. And a guy agreed. Yeah, I got a message about both you guys from, from women that were mad. Wait, that women we, that were mad at me and Nick? The women were mad because we weren't being sensitive to their needs and how their they, needs they, shouldn't, the they shouldn't have to put out just because you want to. If I'm dating you, you're putting out. That's, okay, they have to understand that a, 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 a male and testosterone is different than a woman and estrogen. Hey, I'm going to ask, ask Melissa. I defended you guys. Don't worry. Okay, the question was, they got ripped on it for last week as a girl wrote in and said, what, read the question. The girl wrote in and said, what do I do if I can't keep up with my man? He's because he's too horny because he's on a, like he's on gear and he's too horny. I can't keep up with him. What, do I what, do? Sh what should I do? And Nick said, just to fucking keep up. Fuck brain time. Yeah. She said, fuck more. Yeah. <laughs> so Melissa even says it. <laughs> That's a girl. She's got to write a handbook. Wait, yeah. she was offended? She's not offended. She just wants to know. She wanted advice as to how to keep up. No, no, but you were. The girls got offended. Oh, at the girl. The girls got offended at Nick and Guy because they were so like, you insensitive. just gotta, you gotta fuck. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. What do you think? I think people are too sensitive, and I also think is she worried he's gonna cheat on her or something? Like, what's the problem? No, she just wants oh, to. She wants to keep up, but she doesn't have the same sex drive. For it. For it. Did you hear back from the girl that asked the question? Uh, one one decided that she was just, it was her opinion, it was her opinion, and I couldn't change it. And the other one said she didn't care. She just wanted to voice her opinion, but she didn't, she wasn't like really mad. No, he was uh, asking if the person who wrote the question. You yeah, the question. Oh, no, no, she never, she never responded. Yeah, she, she, she probably will never write another question again. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, why doesn't she just, 
Why does it also tell me what it says? What I what, what what my advice was: there are other ways to please your man. So do something else, Warren. Like what? Like what? Suck his dick. Well, that's what Nick Thank said. Thank you. That's, that's, that's what Nick said. That's, I love it. And, that's, and, I, and people get offended. So, so I said. So then we said, "Suck his dick." And then I. And then I think they got mad. I think they got mad the at them. Because at least if you're oh, the said you're pass. Pass. getting yours too, you know. Yeah, no, she Wait, did. what's that, Ian? Like sucking his dick is kind of pointless because that's like she's doing work but not getting anything. At least if you fuck him, it's like this is mutually. Oh yeah, she's not horny. Yeah, but what if? But what if? But what if we're she's, horny? So suck my dude. Like, no, but wait a minute, Ian. She's not still not getting anything. If she doesn't want to fuck and she's just laying there getting fucked, she's still not getting anything. That's her. But also she's not like, horny, bro. She can also lay there and open her mouth. Yeah, but we're trying. <laughs> You guys are so not helpful. I'm like, I'm trying to help this person. And you guys are- the girl, she's giving the same answer. Oh, she just That's said fuck more. That's not fair. She- a female of all females. Wait, so I want to hear. Know. I want to hear what Melissa has to say. I don't have a shirt on. Stop. <laughs> I I feel like she needs to have better orgasms and then she'll want to have sex more. What if she can't? Yeah. What do you mean she can't? You can still maybe she needs to learn how to find somebody who, who knows how to fuck her right. So you guys think maybe this is his fault? No, so, you're not. Yeah, maybe it's his fault. It could be his fault. Oh my god, I'm okay, no, I say it. I actually can't even oh. say it. Okay, say, say it. Go. Go ahead, Melissa. It, I think she needs to work on enjoying the sex. Don't be pressured to have so much sex. Just work on actually enjoying it, and then she'll want to fuck more. And that takes two people. She has a chance to enjoy it, and he has to want to make her happy. Well, that's but that's so much more complex. Like, how does she enjoy it? Now, now it's, a, it's a whole rabbit hole. What do you mean? So well, many girls don't like to fuck because they don't have good sex, and a lot of that is in their mind. So where do they go to find out how to have good sex? I don't know. You need to figure out what makes what? her happy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Did he say four? Did you say porn? No, Nick said what? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean what? I asked a simple question. Where does it? I mean, if a girl doesn't enjoy sex as much as the guy, how does she find out how to have have more? Maybe enjoyment? his dick's no good. I don't know. No, but maybe she likes it, but she doesn't like it as much as him. Yeah, but Melissa's point is is that if she learns to enjoy the sex more, she'll oh want God. it more. Yeah, I think that's a horrible point. Why is that a horrible point? Because what if she just doesn't have a sex drive? Like, what if it's not about enjoy? What if she really, really loves sex? You know what? It's the best sex ever, but she only likes sex three times a week. Then what? Crickets. Yeah, I'm like, it's. The, I'm not saying she never said I don't like sex. She said I don't like it as often as he but does. Can I say something to Melissa that's going to blow Melissa's mind on top of this conversation? She said then he needs to just go jerk off more. <laughs> which I, that's what i agree with <laughs> melissa yeah. she all at the end of the on um, the end of the uh statement she mentioned that it's also a long distance relationship which that's where i just went okay. That, okay thank you yeah yeah i i know that part and- that, well, no that that's a big because no, now now you're telling me that they're only having sex three times a week no, no, wait a minute. Every three oh, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. I'm not yeah. talking about this one girl. I'm talking about girls in general. Because three or three or four other women message me and they're like, it's not the girl's fault that uh that she doesn't enjoy having sex as much as the guy. And they <laughs> <laughs> Melissa just died looking at Nick's dog and she's going to get ours. He wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah, there. <laughs> oh, All right, you got the dogs now. It's a Frenchie party. Oh yeah. <laughs> got a pit. That another what? girl wrote in said what? So anyway, the girls that wrote yeah, in. But this is the Frenchie. Oh. The point I'm trying to make is this: it's not necessarily, and I'm not talking about this one girl. I'm just saying, in general, <laughs> if a girl likes sex but doesn't like sex as much as her boyfriend, what does she do to keep him happy on the days when she don't want to fuck? Oh, okay. So first of all, send him some duties. That was my answer. Yeah, but that's gonna make him want her more. That that doesn't. Yeah. If a girl oh, yeah. sends me nudes, I'm like, man, I'm gonna, I can't wait till my chicken's home. That's like a cock tease, then. It's yeah, like okay. you're nudie, but you can't have sex with me. Like, come yeah. on. Yeah, but it's kind of a tease too. 
It's like, yeah, it gets kicking. But that's gonna make the guy want it more. <laughs> He's already like ravenous for sex. Yeah, but it could be like if she. What I said was she should make some videos for him. So you could jerk off to him. Yeah. yeah. I would if she sent me a video. I'm gonna want to fuck my girl. Yeah. So I see that. Ian, if you want to fuck, and Melissa's not in the mood, but she sends you like a video that I'm you can use. Phone. Let's say she sent. No, no. Let's say she sent it a different day, and she's like gone all out does the whole thing got the toys the whole bit right <laughs> on the days you don't fuck, though, on it. the days that you don't feel like it are you using that to rub one out or are you what yeah, both yeah that's what i'm saying if, if there's a day she's like you're like hey let's bang and you're like i don't feel like it or she's like i don't feel like it oh. no let's say she's like i don't feel like it then you're like well i got this video she made for me i'm just gonna oh, go. Yeah, go to the highlight reel Ian. i'll be in the that's other right room. that's what i'm saying go to the highlight reel all right that's it there has to be a solution. You can't just be uh, like, I just, yeah, you no. would feel weird about that. Yeah. I wouldn't feel weird about that. It'd be great. What, you're going to go in the bathroom while your wife is in bed and do that? Who, like, who said go in the bathroom? My wife's in her office doing some work. I'm in the bed fucking watching a video. Sweet. Or yeah. she's at, or she's at work or if she's at, if she's at work and I'm like, I'm just fucking, you know what? I'm hanging out. i have some fun. <laughs> Ian yeah. knows I'm right. He'd be like, yeah, I do it too. <laughs> I lost but if you weren't home, if you weren't home or if you didn't feel like it, then what? I lost it when Fu I went and she and I'm in the bed. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody caught on to that. I was was starting to call. I just don't, I just don't, I just feel like I don't know what, what do you fucking tell all the girls? You're just gonna tell them that's the answer. Hey, you just gotta put out more. Sorry. Yes. Well, listen, yeah. let's be, let's be, I'm not being a dick, but most guys that I know, if their girl is constantly denying them, they're going to go get it somewhere else. Because after so long of being denied, you're self wanting task. Like, yeah, you, like, yeah, yeah, I get, I agree with you. That's just so if the girl wants the guy to be happy and not go elsewhere, like, you got to find a way to please him. Whether you like it or not. That's, That's the question, though. What is the way if she don't want to fuck all the if time? If you don't know how to fucking please your dude at this at this age, I don't know what to tell you. Read a fucking book. But that, all right. That's not the question still, though. So that's our answer, then. So our answer yeah. is you just got to put out anyway, if you like no, it or not. No, I mean, you got to put out. Whether, whether, whether you like it or not, you, this, is the worst, this is the worst advice this show has ever given. I just want to tell you guys that. You, you just fucking said, like, it's like feeding a dog. Put a couple pib kibbles down on the ground, but don't give them the full bowl. No, like, what, I said, what I said was a girl shouldn't have to fuck if she don't feel like it. That's you what said I said. Send nudes. That's worse. No, it's not worse. That's like throwing gasoline on a fire. No, it's not. It's like just go watch some porn then or fuck off. Like, I don't that's feel like fucking. Not the same thing. Let's be shit. serious. If you have two people that their sex drives don't really match very well, the relationship probably won't work. That's what the girl said. And I don't, I don't agree with you. No, I, I agree. agree. I, I, I agree, man. If, if you're rejecting your man, multiple times a week that's not going to be a half multiple time. yeah multiple times i agree but I, I will say like listen that. you guys are a different case melissa and ian i'm sorry to tell you but most men and women don't have the same sex drive and most men no, we don't either. We do not. okay the sex drive is way higher than mine so then that's fine so then there's days where you're like i don't feel like it yeah not multiple times a week though if that oh. happened he probably would be sad <laughs> what would happen Ian, if you if three days out of seven she says sad <laughs> i'd be sad <laughs> she says sad i'd be sad on the sad days what would you do with yourself you watch some fucking <laughs> would you pinch me over it look at ian not even wanted to move his head right now i'm <laughs> <laughs> so she was like this <laughs> the answer is yes <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know. Is, but the answer is yes. I don't know. I just, I don't think I'm making an unfair I'm point. I, I, I think podcast. maybe, maybe I'm in a different scenario. I, I think most people that are in long-term marriages, the guys have higher sex drives than the women. Absolutely. And they have to find a way to fucking keep themselves occupied on the fucking days where their wives are like, I don't feel like it. Yeah. They jerk off. That's right. That's yeah, all I'm saying. We're, all we're saying we agree. I agree that if Melissa's there, I'd probably not there. I'd probably jerk off. But the thing is, when you're saying the videos or pictures to me, that would just make me be like, she'd send me the video. I'd be like, don't send me this shit. Just let's fuck, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that's the answer. I'm he's not saying. And he's looking at something. He's watching porn. 
Oh, oh, look at this. Look at some guy sister Nino porn over here. No, I'm not saying the videos or pictures right. are the fucking answer. I'm just saying, what is the answer then? What do you tell that girl? Just your man's got to fucking deal with it? Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Yeah. There's no answer, I guess. Nah, man. That's a tough question. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I, okay. As There's been times in a relationship where I'm fucking exhausted and the girl wants to fucking have sex. I'm like, yeah, I really don't feel like fucking having sex. But I do it because that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, but that's also probably not very common. And you probably, and also that's not for 15 years. Like you, 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 you got, your longest relationship is like two years. <laughs> you. Four, you idiot. Okay, four. Is your, that's still like a, not a lot. That's a lot, lot for me. Oh, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, <I'm, laughs> listen, after fucking four years, I was still banging every fucking day. That's not a long time. I don't know. Four years is a long time to me. It's not, but that's not a long time in terms of like sex drives changing. Like it takes, you know what I mean? Like I'm 15 fucking years in. So sex drives change after 15 years. All right. Yeah, I'm not, that, that, I'm, we're not denying that. Yeah. But that's my all. Point is that even if it was 15 years and you're in a long term and the, the girl doesn't. Okay, I, I, got a, I got a solution. Married guys who are watching or, or guys that are in long term relationships. And I mean, like long, not like two or three years. I mean, like long term. Comment, no. comment below if you have a if your if your girlfriend or wife has a lower sex drive than you. And you. Well, just, the answer is yes to everyone. The answer is yes to everyone, and all of them are going to say they just jerk off. That's literally the answer. Yeah. Okay. So the girl. So so the girl that asked the question. There's no answer. It's just like. The, the, the answer is their answer is this, in my opinion. There's going to be a couple times where maybe you just got to like take one for the team, just like Guy did. But I also think that you shouldn't also be always having sex when you don't want to. So I think mm -hmm. there's a happy medium that sometimes he's like, okay, you know, like I'm, you know, I love my partner. I'm going to pleasure them kind of thing. And there's going to be sometimes it's just like, okay, go jerk off in the fucking, you know, I'm going to leave. Kind of I thing. just need more data. I what do you need? Like, I need to know, do you like to have more sex? substance? Like, like, orgasm? like what's, what's, she wants to run a fucking case study here. Like, she says she needs more data. <laughs> but all right, let's move on. That question because they said they're in a long distance relationship. They're clearly not married. They couldn't have been together that long. And the fact that they don't see each other all the time and she's complaining that he wants it too much, that relationship is de is not going to work. Well, well, maybe he just wants her to fucking finger blast herself on on video chat every day. Yeah. 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 So and she's like, I can't do this every day. Sorry, you know. So then what, know. in that case, what you got to do is pre-record and send. Yes. Yeah. Just send them the same clip. Yeah, you just got to have one day where you spend like twenty-four hours just recording videos all day. Jerk it off, yeah. And then just fucking get them out, yeah. <laughs> Squirt it all over the phone. Yeah, just bank him in like fucking minute clips, like hundreds of them, and then just fucking. You okay, know. so we totally got away from this girl's question. We'll answer this really quick. Advice on being in a relationship with a bodybuilder. What do you think is the most important part and what's the best way to show up for my man? So this, isn't, this isn't necessarily sexual, but it's support. support. How? Yeah. I mean, I think it's like coming down to, you know, showing interest and, and not, I don't mean interest is in like being like, Ooh, follow all the bodybuilders on Instagram, but like acting like it matters to you too, you know? And showing yeah. an interest in their goals and stuff like that, and not, never making them feel guilty for the amount of time they spend investing in something. You know, like when someone's going to yes. the gym, you're like, eh, "Why do you have to go to the gym?" Like, make them feel like, you know, that their things are and their efforts are going towards something that you're proud of them for the work that they put in. You know? Yes. I think a whole bunch of women are going to be really mad at me for saying this, but be your guy's cheerleader. Like, That's be your be, be, yeah, be your guys well, be your guys' number one fan. Up. Yeah, yeah, but you also yeah. have to be their number one cheerleader too sometimes. But that's the tough so part about bodybuilding. Wait a minute. Not. That's the tough where you're not, and that's where they help you out. That's the toughest part about bodybuilding is the person you're with is going to be your fucking cheerleader way more often than not. the other way around. Yeah. So you almost have to end if your relationship's going to work, you almost have to end up with someone that's very selfless because they're going to be there for you more often than you're going to be there for them. At least, at least for sure while you're dieting, and then they're going to have to wait until you're like in the off season, you can kind of give back. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? Like, like my wife is <clears throat> like my wife, when I was competing, definitely took a fucking back seat. Like when I was prepping and then in the off season, I would go, out of, my, I would go out of my way to kind of make it up to her. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you have to be with somebody who has like some patience and some selflessness, who's going to willing to give you a little more than you give back. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, I've run into like, everybody sees like the high, strong joking. Like there are times during prep where I start like toward like this week coming, I start to fade out a little Like you know, when, it, when you're, if you're in a relationship, your relationships and your friendships are not always the same. So I would always start to, in, in my relationship, if I was in one, my attitude and my talkative and my, like my outgoingness kind of fades away and I start getting <laughs> quiet and closed off. Yeah. And a lot of times, because that's out of the norm, they don't know how, what to do. So, they right. so it's like, you just have they to- They think it's them and it's not. Yeah, you have to just understand that like, the, the the changes in the attitude and that is not because of you it's because no. of the diet and because of getting ready for a show and a lot of times the w- women take it personally yeah but that's and definitely what I'm saying. Personal attack, you know you have to you have to understand your man a little more you know and, and just read him a little better um okay we'll do two more and we're done ian what's the most annoying question you ever get asked oh shit your own annoying question i'm sure there's gonna be one that's so blatantly obvious that i can't think about how uh, much do you bench bro i know i know you hate the this or that questions i yeah i hate this or that and i hate like i just hate any question that is like zero context whatsoever you know like how much trend should i take like i don't fucking know man like I, you know questions <laughs> without any context drive me insane like how many calories should i eat like Fuck if I know. Fucking who? How many days do you train? How heavy do you weigh? What yeah, do you like, now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think. Uh, I, I mean, those are going to be obviously more like Q and A specific, but yeah, I can't think of something that's like irks me specifically. You know, I mean, like any of the drug questions bother me. And like, I, I think I understand why people do them because I know they're just trying to get information and they think it's from a good source, so I get it. But if you're going to ask a question like this, you need to do things with proper. Like, you need to have backing to the question you know you need to be like hey i'm this i'm doing this this is what i've run the past like you need to give me all the data so i can give you an answer you know yeah, not not message somebody and be like hey i train hard and i eat and do five meals a day and i'm not getting weight what am i doing wrong yeah like, i don't fucking know yeah there's a million things you could be doing wrong i'm uh, starting with how you fucking just messaged me that <laughs> you know, I, look i i like answering people's but, questions and I, I i don't mind that and you know i'm all i answer as many as i can but if you're going to come at me with a question and like take my time to do that, do it. So I don't need to ask you 10 million questions back. You know, like if you're going to yeah. ask me a question, give me all the data. I can read it one time. Be like, boom, this is your answer. You yeah. Know? But, but then do you get annoyed if the message is like this fucking long in your DMs? No. You don't. I get less annoyed if it's a very concise and it's someone that is obviously taken the time to respect my time with their question. You know, like they're like, Hey, I'm, you know, prepping for my first body, but like, you know, my second show, my first show, this was my cycle. Um, you know, do you think I need to do this or this or this, whatever? I'd be like, okay, this is what I think. That's the end. You know? Huh. Interesting. That Nick. just, that annoys me just as much as people going, Hey man, uh, you know, it'd be really cool if you could rate my physique. I go to their fucking page and I mess oh. up not one picture on your entire fucking thing. I don't do that. Closing, so I don't know how you want me to rate anything. Cause you have everything in a tank top. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. Well, do the, I don't do the rate your physique thing. We I, know because I get everybody it all that the time. don't fucking rate comes back to fucking me. And well, probably- it's because the thing is, it's part of the show. I don't want look. I don't want to rate your physique privately. Yeah, it's something. Yeah. Something. It's something oh, we do yeah. on the show, you right? Think about your physique and rate it. Tell me what you think. And I'm you like, know, the the one question I don't like is, do you think my genetics are good enough for bodybuilding? I'm like, oh my god, okay, yeah, you're right. That might be I, number one. Because honestly, like. 99 percent of them their physique is not even close to the place where you can even make that decisive call. it's not a yeah i don't i don't want to be the the judge and jury of your fucking life like an execution I'll, I'll, I'll give you an, i'll give you an example nick's physique when he started if that kid sent me a photo and said do you think i'm going to be a great bodybuilder i'd be like no yeah but now look at him yeah like it's not fair you can't do that to us and be like do you think i'm going to be a good bodybuilder we have no fucking idea and then we give you an opinion and you get mad yeah, I mean, oh. look, I, I don't even know, but guy, I don't even give an opinion. I literally write them back and be like, look, I, I don't want to be put in this place. Yeah. I think you should just try your hardest. Because I don't know, man. Like, think yeah, about if you, say, if you say no, man, I don't think you have the. Are they just going to stop? Like, yeah, like, are they going to quit? And then you're the asshole, number what's one. The point of that question? And yeah. then number two, you literally don't know. Like, Nick's physique when he started 
it was it, awful. Is it no? And I'm not. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm not trying to like pick on you. No, exactly. no, no. It's a good but, example. But that transformation is incredible. Yeah. I would. I would never be like, yeah, that guy's going to be top ten at the Olympia. Yeah. So who the fuck are we to say we're not fucking? No. Anybody to be able to judge like and, who's, and on the flip side who's going to be great in five years or ten years? You know. And on the flip side of that, I mean, it, it's it's so many factors too because it's like you know, genetics aside, you can see guys that you know, have fucking insane physiques and you do nothing with them, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, I mean, like, it's, you know, Nick has obviously worked and made a fucking crazy-ass physique. So, it's like, the answer is this to any of these guys, be like, yeah, you can if you try, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just try. Try, and then in, my answer I usually give is do everything perfectly for 10 years and then ask me this question again, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do it's only, right. Don't it's miss the only way you're going to know. Don't miss your meals and train as hard as you possibly can for 10 years and then come back to me in 10 years and yeah. with your physique and then I'll tell you. If you look the exact same in 10 years doing everything that like any of us would do, then I'll say, yeah, you're probably fucked, man. I think, fu I think five is fair. Pardon? I think five is fair. Five, sure, whatever. Yeah, so anything yeah. more than one, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, last question. Would you rather relive the last 2,000 years and relive all the historical events or live for the next 2,000 years and watch events unfold in front of your eyes? The future. I'd rather back. do the future. Wait, guy, you want to go back and want relive the last two thousand years? Yeah. Fuck that. Ian, you want to go forward and live the next two thousand years? Yeah, it shit just gets worse the farther back you go. Fuck that. Nick, Nick, uh, yeah, Nick, well, Nick if that if Nick, past year and a half, so Nick, if that fan wasn't on in the background, I would totally think your screen was fucked. I don't know. You know how many comments we've got on that? <laughs> All the time, Nick gets that about being frozen. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Nick? Two thousand before or two thousand ahead? I'm gonna go two thousand ahead. Okay, why, Ian? I just said why. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Why? Why do you want to go ahead? I said shit. Shit's worse the farther back you go. I'm at least. I'm at least shooting my shot in the future. You know, like I don't yeah. want to live through fucking plagues and famines and fucking There's more. Shit. More ways to die before. Yeah. More ways to die. Like the plague, for Christ's sake. Pretty much. What? Might as well be the plague. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> fuck. Like you know, I don't want to have. I don't want to have to be throwing my fucking shit out the window onto the streets. Like you know what I mean? Like I'd rather just go forward. Take my. You take my chance. Do that in countries. <laughs> You know, I love when guy fucking when guy picks an opposite opposing side. He just makes you think whatever you say is so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just completely dismissive of everything. I didn't say anything. He said he goes, I don't want to live through plague uh, plagues and shit. I yeah, was you're like, like fucking fuck plagues. Fuck. <laughs> no, I said I go, what the fuck did we just live through the past year and a half? I go, it's pretty much been a fucking plague. You want to live in the two thousand previous. Why? I think it'd be cool to fucking see how. I agree. If it was a, if it was a snapshot, if it was a snapshot to like go through it quickly as a historical thing, I agree. When it talks actually living in that two thousand years, fuck that. What You're if we? What if we changed it to one hundred previous or one hundred forward? No, because We're still going one hundred forward. World War One, World War Two, fucking Vietnam, fuck that shit. I go forward. I'm going forward. We 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 lived through a war. The past 10 years and 20, 20 years, 20, 20 years, years. No, but not wars. What is the war is fucking? I'm, I'm not, I'm not asking you to be a frontline soldier here, yeah, but not, yeah, but in World War One, World War Two, there's conscription, shit. there was a draft, there was a draft, yeah, yeah. I got flat feet, I ain't going nowhere. I miss, I miss a lot of shit about before all the technology. That's the only reason I said 100 years. Okay, I can see that. I mean, life would be a lot more peaceful and simple. I can agree with you there, yeah. There's obviously going to be pluses and minuses to both sides, you know. I know that back then there's not a lot of jack guys, so I'd get jacked as fuck, no social media, and I'd be like, pulling tail like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, he says. Like, whoa. Like, whoa. It's a fucking Big Rob song. What's that song? Nitro. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa. All right. That's it for today. Um, what was I going to say? We got in a lot of arguments today. Mean guy, no, you, you and guy did to uh, uh, today. You and Ian had some fucking previous conversations before. Ian this. fucking started shit talking to you for no reason. I didn't have anything to do with it. And then you fucking got on my case and started coming at me. I you. didn't shit talk anybody. What did I say? Who had called you out like five times for fucking shit talking to me? No I time. didn't call him out. But you did. Oh, all I commented was about his ears, and that was it. There was some other stuff too. But then I also, in the same sentence, said that I wanted to change <laughs> the liar. <laughs> he, goes, like, he goes, I did not call him out. And then he goes, oh, hey. Hey. Actually, there was a stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nick's got a guess. All right, guys. All right. We'll see you guys. Catch up next week. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, 
and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.